<laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you all just comp pie without a beverage? Is that what you did? <laughs> I got one here. I thought we were all weebs. I thought we all understood that if you comp pie, it has to be with a drink. Yeah, well, we, we, we try and be fam oh. family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> family friendly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just spray. Episode, like, who cares? Yeah, with this episode, with this episode. Actually, to be fair, I never have anything to hand. Right, yeah. So, should we, should we continue on? I guess. Uh, so, welcome to... Oh, gosh. I didn't look up which episode this is. 17. Uh, 17. Episode 17 of Kanpai Cast. This week, we're going to be talking about guilty pleasures. But before we get to any of that, Ooh. we have a guest with us. Hi, Mr. DK Diamantes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, oh, I wasn't ready for an introduction. I'm DK oh. Diamantes. I do stuff on the internet. Um, if you Google my name, you'll find me. So, yeah. I Just, yeah, just an internet fuckboy. <laughs> I know you at least do Twitch is, streams. Yeah. Is... is is that how you go? Um, you know, in, what's called, so if they can't find you by your name, they just Google "internet fuckboy" and they'll. That's, yes, oh, probably. Oh. Oh. Make sure you, you turn safe that? search on for that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you if you actually Google that, keep the safe search on, um, and delete your history afterwards. Guilty pleasure anime, right? Yes. In oh, yes. Yeah, uh, we uh, so uh, also don't forget to the people listening that if you are a member of Zeno's patron or mine, I just started one too. Uh, you <gasps> get, I know, finally, finally. Uh, you can get early access to these episodes. The timestamps probably won't be in there initially, but they should be in there after, you know, a few days. Uh, and for anyone who's listening to this on the day it, it airs, uh, you should be able to click on any of the timestamps down in the description, or there's a lovely chapters function, which will take you to individual chapter. Ooh. I think that, that I love basically... Yeah, that, that basically covers it, but you never read what I actually put there, which is hilarious. I, I didn't even open no, it up this time, you know? I just, I just wanted to wing it. I just wanted to, you know, get it through wow. there. Shots, Super professional. Shots are being fired yeah. real yeah. early here. Cool, right. So, yeah, we, we are here to talk about... Some guilty pleasures in anime. Oh, guilty yeah. pleasures. Guilty pleasure in anime. Oh, and it immediately comes up with a controversial one. <sighs> who, who picked JoJo? Who, who said seventies picked JoJo? What's <laughs> name what's, and shame. what's no. what's guilty pleasure about JoJo? I don't know. Like I, I think that I mean, <sighs> is it because it's I, violent? No, I don't know. I think like maybe it's it's bad to like it because it's mainstream. That doesn't make it a guilty pleasure though, because like if it's but mainstream, if you do like everybody it. loves it. I think it's but, more no, but if you do how like weird it. it is, like literally, try to explain. Jojo to somebody who has never seen Jojo or really much anime at all. Bro, just, do you just pose? Just try. I feel tell, like tell everybody. <laughs> like I feel like this guy at literally this point, crawls inside another person through his severed leg. At this point, everybody knows a Jojo meme, though. <laughs> like you, you, yeah. you can't traverse the internet without knowing at least a little bit about Jojo, Dio, Stans, and Zawaldo. True. You can't. True. It's impossible. If you're on the internet, you know a JoJo. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think it's that controversial. I don't think it's. I don't think. I don't think it's a guilty pleasure anime at all. I think that that raises an, inter an interesting point. What qualifies as a guilty pleasure? Because I, Zeno, and I had slightly different definitions when we were talking about it before. I think mine was Ooh. something that's so bad that you and you know it's bad, but you still love it anyway. Um, and then I, I think yours was a little more broad than that. Yeah, I think mine was like it. It's it's something that you enjoy, but you you kind of struggle to admit to your friends or family members, or you know that you enjoy. It. Like you know, we were talking about high school double D, and like if 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 a family member comes in, that shit's getting turned off. I promise you, because they're never going to come in on a scene that is not mm, tits yeah. and ass. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to define guilty pleasure. It's it's gonna be different for everybody. Like, yeah. if this was just like, oh, it's the Isekai Isekai episode. It's like there's a there's a genre to pull from. Like, <laughs> there's a very yeah. clear, it, yeah. Yeah, everybody's yeah, gonna no, have a you different say guilty that. pleasure we, anime. We had a hard time, or we kept trying to define what an Isekai was, and we had a very long list by the end. I tell you, and I think we we still want to go back to look at that and add some more to yeah. it. Te technically, Bleach is an Isekai. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. He is gets, he gets, he, he he gets reborn as a, a, a soul reaper and he's in the soul society. 
But can, he can come back though. Yeah, see, yeah, this I'm is like... this is how we we drew definitions on like the ability to go back. Like, is Escafloni? Uh, he's a guy. Mm-hmm. This character does come back, and then goes back again. And Hot... there we had weird definitions for that. Hot take: I've never seen Escafloni, and I can't stand <gasps> it. Oh, that's fine. You know, and it's fun. for it's for a really stupid reason too. I I hate the way their noses are drawn. I can't stand it. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> no, that's fair. I, yeah, I that's... cannot. I cannot get past it. I can't. But the story's so good, and they're mechs. I can't stand it. The, it every oh, time no, I look no. at the drawing, it's like <sighs> drives me crazy. Oh yeah, I don't no, know. I kind of style's bad. It's hard. I, it's hard to get into. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I feel with Escaflona though that it's it's going to be a bit dated now because it's like oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not going to evade. That was the style at the time. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't remember which show it was that I really, really liked when it first. Oh, Elf and Lead, right? Elf and Lead when that first came out was like incredible. It was like so genre defining for anime. But now I'm pretty sure it's about. It's just um, it's as it's aged as well as a wet sponge cake. You think so? Not a I, I, re- I, I, don't, I really don't think Elf and Lead, like, if I try to go back and watch Elf and Lead now, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get, like, mind-numbingly bored going, get to the good bit, get to the good bit, get to the good bit already. Maybe. I think maybe we're spoiled for choice now with, like, things like JoJo, where it's just, like, they, they just get on with it. Yeah. Mm. I remember Elf and Lead being the shit. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of old shows have I've, a lot of filler in them. And your brain just kind of filters that out, I think, looking back on it. Yeah. yeah. But I can't even remember what the good bits of Elfin Lead were. I got a exactly. list. <laughs> yeah, that's, whenever, that's... whenever she uses her vectors. You know, the yeah, invisible which... hands, it's just... And then yeah, there's but that like... was so infrequent, right? So if you think about in the, it... In the it was... early episodes, it was infrequent. But once it's, yeah. like, well-established that they have vectors and her little rival shows up and is using her vectors all willy-nilly, it's, mm. you know, you know. You know, it gets it's kicks pretty nuts, you know. And there's there's you know, there's fan service, so <laughs> yeah. the fan service fixes everything. You yeah. could justifiably put Elf and Lead in a guilty pleasure category. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If well, if I, we actually had the backgrounds. I think you would define a guilty pleasure as something that if you sat down and you were being truly objective to your own principles of how you would normally judge something, like, you know, without emotion or anything, you would be like, I, this is not very good for X, Y, Z reason, and I would not be happy to let people know I watch this. But the, <laughs> you're, you overcome that because you just love some feature of it so much. But objectively, you're like, this is rubbish, but I love it for da 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 reasons. Which I'm but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a rubbish anime for it to be good. No, 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 not rubbish. Right? Not rubbish, but you objectively would say, oh, but this feature, you know, I, normally yeah. I would say this anime is, I do not like this feature of it, but I'm going to ignore that because I just love this bit too much. Okay. You kind of overcome your principles. Yeah, That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of want to put Loz on the spot here. <laughs> and I want to get you to start talking about the irregular at Magic High School. Is that the first on the list? Oh, uh, yeah, I think no, that's good. That's good because this is a great one for to go into because I've just put forward my reason of why uh, of how I define it, and I can explain it with this one, so we can go forward from here. So this okay. is so let's go into our we've got a fairly long list. Wow, to go through the oh, first I one through all of them though. I, I yeah, haven't seen the irregular at Magic High School in a long time. Yeah, in a hot minute. Now, <laughs> the reason why I have this on my list and I put this one here is if I was to sit down and to rate the show. The main characters, the two main characters, are complete Gary Stews and Mary Sues. Oh, they God, never yeah. really, mm-hmm. even though they attempt to <laughs> pretend to challenge them, then they're, they're never really in every true peril. Uh-huh. They are just, they're not quite God in human form, but nothing really ever does anything to phase them. And because of it, normally I'd be like, oh, this show's quite, I'm not saying bad or anything, I'm saying flawed, because the main characters just start at the the show entering this high school and then they just win yeah. <laughs> there's, there's nothing, everything the, but win started at the top now they're there yeah it's, and, it's and boring if, is what i remember is boring is because they're so perfect that it's just like visuals great fight scenes great but there's never any like there's never any like uh conflict they're, they always win you know they're gonna win yes it, the thing I, the reason why I've got it as guilty pleasure is I really like the magic system they set up in this show and the how it's on a personal level. We've got this kid going to high school and 
they you know have to learn to use their magic but you also have the sort of um societal level of it as well that they're also to the point that they would be used as living weapons almost and you've got to kind of got the dichotomy between those two points and that's what that i'd love to see this world but in a different setting mm-hmm. without the op characters i just love to see some normal people or some normal magicians in this world doing stuff so i love that, the that's world a, that's a great background image for the topic by the way <laughs> <laughs> you don't like us? <laughs> perfect. That was good. That was a good one to put in there. I don't even remember what that, where that's from in the show. I don't recognize her. I, that's I, all me neither. I may have gotten some bad images. I don't know. That's what I saw. What's yeah. came up as? It could I, be season two. I it mean, might be actually. I didn't watch past season one, so I yeah, it could be. Well, it could be. The problem. The problem is that they did season one back in two thousand and fourteen, and they did season two in what twenty twenty. I'm like. Ooh. Fuck! How the hell yeah. am I supposed to remember what? So yeah, I need to go back and watch. Oh, you can go back and we watch it. Yeah. It, yeah, I remember it was a pretty anime. Like it's a pretty. Yeah, anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well it's... drawn and everything. It's just boring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say well boring. See, I I swear underneath there's some really cool things because you get bits <laughs> which really are quite interesting with. Um, so the whole school is set up with two tier system of like you know the best magic users and then they're, they're referred to as the main school and then there's the weed no the blooms and weeds so blooms are like the best people you'd be able to use magic which they're assessed on and then they've like a second tier of citizen not citizens really because they're not the best magic school ever but they're the, the not as good people and they don't get an emblem on their arm they just get a gray patch and then you get so then at there's, one point there's the S rank and the super S rank yeah and obviously there's a lot of conflict between them and there's a seat, as it, but it gets pl- uh, preyed upon by uh, the same thing, but from a uh, national level. Oh, so, so, like, a yeah. real organization tricks those kids into trying to take over the school, p- pretending, oh, we're doing it for you. So, th- see, that it's the subtext that I really like, but you have to endure OP characters. Like, this is one of the main characters who just never, ever loses, ever, to anything. Apparently, her image never goes away either. Jeez. No. <laughs> Did you guys ever see Asterisk War? It kind of reminds me of yes! that. Yes! I actually really like I got so sad when Asterisk War never got a second season. It's yeah. it's 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 pretty much exactly the same thing that um Loz was saying with like, oh, yeah. you know, OP is fuck uh, main character. It's yeah. all, I'm pretty sure it's still on Netflix. Um Actually I don't think it is. Oh no. I think but, it's gone. Yeah. The fight no. scenes were so dope though. Yeah, they really, really were. The fight scenes were so cool that I, I that could be another guilty pleasure one where it's like, man, this kind of sucks, but boy, is it pretty and do I want to watch it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but right, again, well, like the largest problem for Astro Squad is that it just never got um, a, a second season, and it's like, but nope. it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah. yep. <laughs> well, did. speaking of pretty and you just want to watch it, let's go into one of Zeno's. <laughs> that's one Zeno's put on this list. I think that's why he's put it there. Well, yeah, I mean, what you call I, I can get thrown under the bus just as much. But yeah, so <laughs> high school double D. I love this show. It's it's stupid. It's like, I mean, there, there, there are harem shows like a dime a dozen, right? And the biggest thing with the harem show is more often than not, the main character is so goddamn dense. He doesn't actually realize that any of the other characters like him. Uh, mm-hmm. What was the infinite Stratos? No. Um, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, chivalry. There was something, something of a chivalry knight. I can't remember that one. Um, Tenchi Moyo. I mean, he's he's a little bit more on the level Tenchi, but like still. But high school double D Issei is just like the our main male protagonist. He is just so on board with it. Like, yep, I want this. This is what I want. This is this is why I came to this school uh, where like a population of was like um, two hundred girls to one guy sort of thing. Yeah, there's no chance I can't get laid, and and it, it's just stupid. But then you add in like the whole uh, what's called extra level of the different, you know, the more European uh, religions and different elements like the whole Welsh and English dragons and things like that. It, it was just like, this is just hilarious. And you really feel like the emotion that's portrayed by uh, what's called all the characters and, you know, it, it's it's great. I still would never want to, and I know I'm admitting this to the internet, I'd never really want to admit this to any of my family members, 
that it, it like I enjoy this and I like to a little story last Christmas I you know came to visit my family my uncle came along and my uncle was like oh thank you so much for no 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 yeah yeah all right so my uncle came along he's like oh thank you so much for getting my um what's it called my daughter uh my my baby cousin um these no 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 these uh sword art online figures because oh. she got re she got really heavily into sword art online and he was like you know anime's changed a lot uh recently because i don't i don't remember it being like so adult there was one i was watching that um what's it called it was like it was just like so much nudity and things like this and i just blurted out oh is that high school double d and i'm like shit i should have admitted that i do <laughs> <laughs> i've never watched it but i hear it's uh yeah, uh, I, mean, I've heard I wouldn't things. yeah i've heard good uh, <laughs> things yeah i've heard things things were heard yeah. mm -hmm. oh goodness. yeah for a for a fan service anime it has decent plot to go along with the plot yeah <laughs> i knew that was coming yeah, yeah. But yep, yep. Well, doesn't uh, doesn't she convince him to do something with the uh, incentive that she'll uh, let him squeeze her breasts or something? That happens it's multiple times. Okay, why episodes. do I know that? Because it's your favorite. Because you put <laughs> it on true. the list. I mean, of I will say, I will say though, I dislike the fact that between so season four was done by a different studio and they did not maintain the art style at yeah. all. Oh. They, like they went back in more in line with what the art style of the manga is and it it's just like that 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 divide that like it's it's just the dividing quality is monumental yeah i've heard and, that i didn't yeah. like that but i think it's getting a fifth season uh, is, is it going back to basics or is it keeping that weird no it's still keep, well i think basically Ooh. because high school double d Started to go down the route of like a, a tournament um, anime. Oh no! That, that's why the original studio dropped it. So oh. yeah. Oh 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 oh! They didn't want a tournament arc anime, huh? Yeah. So much. they, I, I, so I they don't win. want like ninety percent of the anime out there. All right. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, so before we I, move on. Before we move on, no, the reason why I want to say that I like high school DXD, obviously you're saying about the plot and things, but... Well, I was I like, because I like boobs, what? <laughs> but no, 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 no. I, I, I boobs are great! Yeah, they yeah. are. I'm a, I'm just, yeah. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 what I want to point out is that... Oh, God, it's really nice to see shows, and there's another show, actually, which... Oh, what's the one... Oh, God, it's like the... the uh, Magus' wife, uh, wife or something? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Ancient Magus' Vegas is Bride? Right. Ancient Magus' Wife, yeah. yeah. Um, there's two, these two shows I want to point out. You might think, why am I comparing these two shows? Because yeah, the thing I'm is... I'm confused. Go ahead. We have a his Eng in England, we have a massive history. Massive history. And uh, But we don't make, really, any shows, or it's really rare these days to make any shows going through about that history or doing interesting things with it. So the yeah. only way we're able to get shows about doing it is you have to go to people who are on the other side of the world, find <laughs> our history exotic and different, because they don't because they don't want to make stuff about their history. They think, oh yeah, but look at these look at this ancient stuff in England with bricks and mortar and all these knights and dragons. Isn't that cool? It's different to our dragons. So we have to go over there to make them <laughs> them to make it so that we can enjoy different reworks of our history in different forms. Yeah. In media, it's ridiculous. We, well, we barely it, do anything with it. Was okay. it Burn the Witch was really uh, similar as well. That that was based in the UK. Um, it was like a three episode series, uh, though. I mean, anyway. Uh, but one of the, one of the nicest things I liked about the Ancient Magus's Bride, <laughs> really silly, stupid thing to pick up on, is they actually put the pattern for the train as the patterns we had on our actual fucking trains. Do you remember oh, that? Which patterns? So it, the, it was the seat, sorry, seat patterns. The seats, the seat patterns. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you're watching that, you're like, I've been on that train. Yep. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. But it's the, the interesting, it's, it's the same reason why, uh, uh, oh no, actually, I'll save that for what one of the ones that's coming up and I'll explain it, but yeah. Oh no, it is next! Ha -ha. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh. I, I, I can I can see what's on today's episode and how how can we talk about the next one? Because what who yeah. who put that there? Me. Well, no, I'm just, before you, before you explain, I just want to say so. There's a lot of 
Christian uh, iconography in this, and the only other re- they actually asked the Evangelion staff, it's like, okay, what was your what was your deeper meaning? You know, of these things you've got like they've got like the Sephiroth and different you know things. They went, oh, we just like it because it was cool and exotic. Yeah, that was it. Yep. There's no deeper meaning. Yep. There's different and cool, so we stuck it in there. <laughs> so, so, so we're really putting Neon Genesis Evangelion as a guilty he pleasure. Is. Yeah, are we, are, we, are, we, are we doing that? Is that what we're yeah. doing today? Okay, okay. I, I will, I will, uh, I won't jump down your throat yet. But go ahead. It's an, it's an absolutely <laughs> terrible story, but there's something familiar and comforting and warm about it because you, you know you've seen well, it's, a lot of people have seen this in their formative years. Uh, yeah, and it's definitely. it's a lot of people's like first or second anime, and so so you've got that deep connection with it, that nostalgic connection. You can pop it on, and even though you hate, you know, Shinji crying and whining all the time and not getting in the mech to pilot it, it's it's familiar. And you're like, oh yeah, but I can look forward to these these super crazy moments that I know are coming up, and Kaoru showing up, and and the whole bizarre ass ending. And it's it's just something you can pop on and and not have to really think about. It's 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 comfort food. That doesn't sound guilty though. Like uh, you, you don't think like so? you. No, like you wouldn't be ashamed, like if say your mom came in and was watching, you know, you had uh, Evangelion on. You wouldn't like switch the channel, and be like, oh my god, I can't True. believe someone Clearly. found out. But admitting yeah, hold on, you like it to other anime fans. Yeah. I'm oh, I did. I admit it all day long to people that I like uh, <laughs> Ava. I mean, so, I don't think the story's that bad, is it? So it's, I remember. Oh. Yes, it is. It really is. I, I remember oh, the. Really... I remember the Omedito ending being very weird and like I was on an acid trip. Uh, Wait, were you on an acid trip while watching that bit? It, it felt like I was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the stuff before that felt all right. Like, I mean, granted, it wasn't like a you know a crowning achievement in you know cinema storytelling, but I didn't remember it being that bad. I, I, mean, there, I will remind you about shut up Shinji yeah, and, and, yeah. Hold on, Azith. Hold on. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. I will remind you they had to kill an angel through the power of DDR. <laughs> and that was, listen, that was dope. I don't care it what anybody says. Cool. That dance routine that they did was Ooh. slick. Okay. Wow, we we have different you. standards. I'm not. I will <laughs> fight you. I love DDR and I love Ava. It's it's cool, you. but it's also but again, it's it's dumb. You don't want to admit that it's that it's cool to people. Hey, if you go to Japan, they no. live, breathe, oh, I d- die, I and bleed Ava. You can get an Evangelion razor to shave your face with. <laughs> Do you? I think that's the. No, I don't. Oh. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think it's just a lot worse than Like they they have profited heavily off of Ava over there. There is no shame in Japan about Ava. They need more shame about Ava in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. I mean, on, how long was the elevator scene? Which elevator scene? The one at the end when they were running out of budget. So they were like, right, how do we hide? Our lack of budget. We'll put two characters in an elevator who just hate each other, and then just show the elevator for as long as we can. Oh, what is this? Oscar see. and Ray. Yeah, they're just standing yeah. in an elevator, and there's nothing happening. It's like, I oh, good. Remember. This is this is good. It's, like, don't yeah. don't get me wrong. Like, even Galleon is like really iconic. It, it really helped shape anime for the future and things like that. Yeah. But like, it's one of those that hasn't aged very well. I, I just well they didn't have to can... make whole new movies for it yeah yeah they re- I have you seen the fourth one no I saw I think I saw up to like the second one and then I they see... just had such a spaced out release that I kind of stopped caring yeah I, I watched the first three but then the problem was it was like ten the fourth one was ten years in development I can't yeah. remember the first three in the slice I'm gonna have to bloody rewatch them and that's a bloody commitment and a half. The first so, two are like direct retellings anyway. There's like very little that's different. So you yeah, can... but they, ha- they take out all the stupid bits like Oscar so yeah. like, standing on the, the command deck of uh, um, an aircraft carrier not wearing any pants. Oh, yeah. That's like, your, that's like one of your introductions to Asuka, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That is the introduction. Mm, that is the introduction to Asuka. Who needs yeah. underwear when you're German? Yeah, with a short with a short dress, and you're on a submarine or whatever it was. Hey, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's just like why, why, just fucking. Oh god. Cause okay, but... Gynax. 
to finish off, <laughs> how many times when the, when the universe suffers heat death from from everything, how many times will have Evangelion be rebooted? <laughs> I mean, I think, I think they only got one more in them. I don't even know that they're going to reboot it again. I've heard good things about the last uh, movie. People liked it, so they might just yeah. leave it at that. Or they might reboot oh, no. it when they need money. <laughs> there's, all, there's more money to be made. If well, said. well, it would would, would like a HD 40K whatever reboot remaster count where they just like well, spruced it up for like the newest probably. TVs or whatever. Because the then they'll probably do that a million times as technology gets better. Like, Look, yeah. we made Blu-ray 40K HDR Supervision Ava. And it's like, oh, okay. And then eventually they'll have to make the Netflix adaptation. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, no, that was Pacific Rim. <laughs> have you guys seen the Cowboy Bebop live action? Oh. Unfortunately. I far away from it. I have, I've told both of these two never to go near it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Julie is the villain! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard. Yeah, they know. They know. Spoilers, God. Uh... I don't oh, care. God, you should be spoiled so you don't have to watch that crap <laughs> shit. Did you? Did you stay for the? Uh, Vicious end of the is a little bits? bitch. Oh, don't, I don't. I don't want to talk about Ed. Ed doesn't cool. show up. Let's 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 Ed move on to the next one. Ed isn't. Ed isn't there. She's what? Mm -mm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the choice here, DK. What one do you want to talk about? Um, I'll go Sailor Moon. Cool. Uh, yeah. Fighting evil by moonlight. Yep. Sailor Moon is a. It's not really a guilty pleasure for me anymore because I don't give a shit. Um, but when I was a kid, oh my god! If you're like in the '90s, if your classmates found out that you like Sailor Moon, your social life was over. Yeah. You would be roasted, grilled, barbecued, skewered. It was done, done, done. Yeah, everyone knows you and, only watch uh, Sailor Moon while you're waiting for Voltron to come on. Uh, clearly, yep. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was on every morning before I went to school, mm -hmm. and I just started to like really like it, and I would, it would be like my morning ritual, and then it just like, I like Sailor Moon. The dubbing was terrible, though. Uh, <laughs> well, some of the dubbing is terrible, uh, but I can't watch it any. I, I can't watch it any other way. Like, I have to watch the Deke dub. Otherwise, it doesn't seem like Sailor Moon to me. Like, if you put it on with Japanese uh, audio and Japanese music, it doesn't sound right. It just It sounds awful. Her name isn't Usagi. It's Serena. <laughs> it's his, his name isn't Mamoru. He's Darian. Okay? <laughs> oh, so, my goodness. Wow. Yep, oh. yep. And, and she's not Makoto. She's Lita. She's Lita. That one right there on the screen. That's Lita. Sailor Jupiter. Yeah. But yeah, so. I mean, it's it's an anime that was supposed to be for girls, and it's marketed towards girls, and they had like all the little okay. dolls and whatever. And so it's was just, it it's nostalgic? But in Japan, was it actually marketed towards girls? I have to believe it was. I don't like, know that for a fact, but I have to believe it was. I mean, I, I don't know. To me, like I could easily see this as being marketed to kids. Right, but not necessarily girls. I don't know. I know in America it was heavily marketed towards girls. I have no yeah. idea about it in Japan, but in America it was like, oh yeah, this is this is for girls. It was. I would almost say liking Sailor Moon back in the day was the equivalent of of liking like My Little Pony. Right, mm -hmm. like like when the whole MLP thing started getting going, it felt like that. Like where if you were like, yeah, I'm I'm into Sailor Moon, everybody just gave you that weird look. <laughs> you know, <laughs> are you a moony? For the transformation like... scenes, come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Also, I I can't watch Sailor Moon Crystal either because it's just not the same, and it follows I... the manga too heavily, and it just everything gets weird. And it's just not it's not it. I remember at one point discovering the R and Super R movie. Is it no? Was it S and Super S? I don't know. One of those two. Uh, and I was like, there are Sailor Moon movies. Yeah, there are a lot of Sailor Moon movies. There are, there are a lot. Yep. Yep. I, I remember, uh, what's called, I used to... We didn't get Sailor Moon until, like, the late 90s. And I would try to watch it on, um, what's it called, like, you know, sometimes I'd catch it while I was flicking between channels when the adverts were on. And, like... My mum would catch me periodically watching it, and she she would just give me the filthiest look. It's like, why are you watching that? And it was just like, it, it just looks like 
you know, uh, and I was just like, oh, for love of God, I just want to just, I just want to enjoy cool things. Is it that? I'm watching it because they're fighting evil by moonlight. Come on, obviously. I um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Um, but I, I would, I would. Uh, it got to the point where if I thought I was gonna miss an episode, I would like, I would record it on VHS. <laughs> and uh, there would be times where like my parents would be like, oh, we're looking for a, you know, a movie to watch or something, and they would accidentally grab one of my tapes and they'd yeah. put it in. And Sailor Moon would start playing. Frantic, frantically, you have to get to the VCR, hit stop, and oh, I didn't mean to record that. Uh, what? What? Mm-mm, not? Nope, not me. I meant to record, and, you know, <laughs> Die Hard. Yeah, that was, it, on, it, that was on TV. It happened so often, and my parents didn't care, but it happened so often they called them, uh, whenever they, they had it, they called it an oops tape, because they're like, oh, is this one of those ones you didn't mean to record? Oops. <laughs> so I, I had stacks of oops <laughs> tapes when I was a kid. Out of interest, like, did you have a sibling that you could just blame this on? Oh, clearly they changed the channel. No, my sibling was the one who started that name, the Oops Tapes name. <laughs> so I couldn't. No, no. Nope, Can throw that under the him. bus. Nope, nope, nope. Damn. You like what right. you like. Okay, should we move on to the the next one, Nazareth? Oh gosh, is it mine again? No, I'm going to give it to Loz. Actually, sorry, my bad, Loz. Oof, Loz was mine. Well, yeah, I don't know. Like, is, there, is there another one you want to pick out of that list? No, no, no. Let's go back up to the top and go for whoever's next, which is, I think, go for yours. I think, is that yours No, next? it's that time I was reincarnated as a slime, whoever was doing that. Isn't that just DK's again, isn't it? Oh, I, oh I, I gave that one. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that one. Well, the, I, yeah. Okay. That, you, I, can, I can support him on this one. I'll support yeah. him. Yeah. I'll support okay. him on this one. But DK, you yeah. got this. Um, I know again, I wouldn't. People... How How is this a guilty pleasure? I mean, it's just... Well, I don't... It's not guilty until you get to the gazebos. Because, <laughs> like, it's an isekai anime, and it is so by-the-books isekai, it's almost embarrassing. Um, like, it is it is the poster child of isekai animes that everybody has grown to, like, hate. Uh, like, the, the main character gets reborn, super powerful, basically never fails, gets all the girls, everybody wants him. Um... But all the characters are so likable. It's such a well-drawn anime, and the plot is kind of dumb. Um, <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, all the characters are really likable, and I enjoyed watching it, and I don't know. I don't know if I'd be embarrassed to, know, to tell someone that I watched yeah. this, but it's like, it's that, it's just that, it's, oh, it's one of those isekai animes, Blech. you know? You say the post thing, but I would say Sword Art is just used more as the poster child for all this. Yeah, so but really Sword fun. Art sucks. <laughs> yeah, but the, you know, saying that <laughs> you're in that the right time, place. Yep, definitely in the right place for that comment. <laughs> that time I got uh, reincarnated as a slime has overtaken Sword Art in popularity by leagues. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, leagues. Wow. Just because okay. of Shion, I'm assuming. Uh, purple haired big boobed orc pro- I honestly don't know I think it's actually more Rimuru a lot of people me. really like Rimuru yeah I was going to say Rimuru is a really likable main character but yeah like you know the, the the number of times when this will top popularity charts is is utterly ridiculous Loz. wow okay well as we've got the, the things on screen there it's, I, I mean the reason I would call it a guilty pleasure is because I, watching this is what season 2 part 2 Yep. No, I never many... watched season two, actually. I just got oh. past season one. Oh, okay. Good. Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know Veldora actually becomes this uh, tanned, blonde-haired dude. But, uh, but there's on screen there. But, um, yeah, yeah. But No, my problem is that the reason why, as I was saying earlier, my reason is if I have a justification based on my principles of why it's bad. We spend, as a running joke on the show, we keep bringing up literally four episodes plus... I can't remember the exact number. I think it's six six episodes in total. Having in season two, part two, having a meeting in a gazebo for six. Episodes. Oh, that's that's what happens in season two. Just gazebo yeah. meetings. No, season two, Ooh. part two. Oh, okay. Season two, part that's one. Gross. Other stuff happens, and you know, complain about Ish. that. But I liked it, but it's just I, so I kept watching it because I'm like, it'll, it'll get back to being good. It'll get back to being good. But then at one point in our gazebo meeting, we go, wait, we must stop our gazebo meeting to have a sub meeting in a different building. Come, Rimuru. And then we have a sub meeting in a, in a building, and we we finish Ooh. that meeting, and then we go back to the gazebo meeting. <laughs> oh, that's that's unfortunate. 
And it's just like, ah. Oh. So that's, that's, that's the reason why I would be like, yeah. But I, in general, though, wow, I didn't realize it was that popular. I mean, yeah. it's, I guess it's pretty popular. But it always seemed like it was just like, oh, you like an isekai anime. You know? Like, people always kind of turn their noses up at isekais because of how popular they've gotten and everything. And it's just, you know? You I almost mean, feel weird saying that you like an, any isekai anime. Because they've I, just gotten such a bad rap over the years. Unless it's I think the problem yeah. is... No, I mean, I think... Well, Shield Heroes had quite a bad rap, but regardless of that. Mm -hmm. um, the, the problem is that there are so many generic, bland isekai shows out there. Yeah. With, oh, God, yeah. you know, guys getting transported to other worlds to become a merchant. Mm -hmm. And then assassins being transported to another world to become a merchant. <laughs> and then, what's you call it? Kids getting transported to other worlds to be the best possible mage in the world, and I, I haven't got a fucking clue. What was Tanya the evil before being reborn into like business evil man. little girl? Was that was he just businessman? He wasn't like anything else. Just oh, okay. No, yeah, he, he got tip. He got thrown in front of uh, a train. A By Japanese person. businessman and an isekai? Shocking. No way. <laughs> yeah. Truckun, no. <laughs> Truckun. Train kun for this train one. Train kun, yeah, train kun. Yeah. Yep. Oh, but I mean, the the thing about time I got reincarnated to slime is, if I was actually watch it, I would actually, I suppose they're the filler uh, series. There's the slime diaries, which are like in between the main series. I actually enjoy those more than the main series almost, because now that you, the, the main series obviously give you your setting, and mostly what the slime diaries do is they just sit in the town and just grow the town or do things. You actually see them doing things that are interesting, and it's quite. Just warm and nice, and just like you, you know, you see them during Christmas, you see them during summer growing crops and things, and they've got to deal with minor issues. I enjoy that because I love the characters more than the, as we have it on screen repeatedly, here's again the gazebo meetings, just continuous gazebo meetings, just endless. What's oh, a slice of life sub anime? I actually like that. Yeah, but but only because of the context of the characters. It's I know it sounds really weird, but I like it because of the world they're in and they have to do all those problems, but then you see them in a nice, their average normal day. You know, sort of thing. You don't often see that fleshing out the characters. With all these screenshots, I'm realizing I think I might just like it because of Shion. <laughs> <laughs> that might, might be it. I, might, I have contemplated getting that uh, swimsuit statue of her, but I'm like, I'm not that guy, am I? <laughs> Is there anything wrong with that? Mm, no. I mean, guilty pleasures and all. I've, I've, well, it's it's like a four hundred dollar statue. That's the problem with it. Oh wow. fuck! That's the wow. problem with it. It's, really? it's it's a big statue. Oh. I don't know if you can like Google it. It's a it's a Shion swimsuit statue or whatever. But it's it's a it's it's. I was about to say it's a big boy, but I was like, that's canonically wrong. Um, but yeah, I would. Mm. That's the one. That's, that's the one. That's the one. You found it. That's the one. I have no okay. idea. I, I, I have how big it is though. Yeah, I I I think that there's a there's a decent scale image of it on like Amazon or something, where it like actually shows like how big it is. One yeah, to one six, six scale. Yeah, it's big. Wow. It's, yeah, it's large. Wow. And I have I have contemplated on many occasions being like, yeah, I'm gonna be the no, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Like, there's there's plenty of room on this shelf over here. I could just. <laughs> Nah, God. but I, I, I would I, the I, shelf I, support it? Probably. <laughs> Had to reinforce it just for the boobs. Yeah, just for the boobs. Just uh, earthquake safety it to the wall. You know, <laughs> pin it to the wall. It's like, oh, is that for earthquake safety? No, it's for Shion's big ass <laughs> boobs. Um, <laughs> that's what it's for. Obviously, hello. I actually right. have earthquakes in California. Let's let's move on to the next one. We actually missed one. Oh, did we? Um, which, oh, yeah, yeah, I will happily, I'll happily support DK on, which is, I think this is yours, Rent a Girlfriend. Yes, Rent a Girlfriend is mine. Rent a oh. Girlfriend. Right. I haven't seen the anime, but I've been keeping up with the manga. Oh, and the anime's so good. I, 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 I actually kind of love it. Everybody's like, oh, it's boring. The same thing happens. They never do anything new. Blah. And people constantly spit on me for liking Rent a Girlfriend. Um, but I love it. It's 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 fine, you know. I, I don't know why I want to get weird and say, "Don't worry, DK, I'll shield you from that spit." <laughs> and then it just gets weird. So, anyway. yeah. wow, yeah, that yeah, that was weird. That yeah, this got really awkward, dude. 
But anyway, so rent a girlfriend. Um, I don't think we've actually had this on the show before. So a little plot synopsis. Basically, the main male protagonist, he's in a relationship with his, I, I want to say long-term girlfriend. I don't know if it's that long. I think it was like, what, six months or something? Well, I guess that's long, right? Was it Ish. six months or something? Yeah. I mean, for us weebs, certainly. Your name eternity. is Mommy, right? If you've yeah. ever seen so Madoka. She... <laughs> so I wish she... she suffered the same fate, but whatever. Go oh, ahead. God, yeah. So, she, the, uh, what's it called? The, she ends up dumping our mate. Yeah, that's her there, right? I hate so her that's, so much. <laughs> I mean, so what she ends up dumping our main male protagonist mm-hmm. and he's feeling really low he's feeling really pathetic and i think he hears about dating services where you rent a girlfriend and for like a night you pay her to be your girlfriend and you know she'll hold your hand she'll treat you like how yep. you want to be treated on like a, like a first date basis and this is our main female protagonist mm-hmm. and you know it, ultimately it turns out that um his grandmother has fallen ill in hospital while they're on their second date it might be it's 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 one of their dates yeah um, so i think it's the second one because he he wants to completely blast her and you know because he feels led on and things like this because they're not going to actually have a proper anyway so they end up going to the hospital. Sorry, just expand on that because I've not seen this at all. What do you mean? So he's not liking our main female. No, 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 no. he he this lo- time, loves her. But first like, time he loved her, right? Absolutely. She puts on time. she puts on such an act though of being his girlfriend. Like she's like top tier. She's the best girlfriend money can buy. Right. And like she's holding his hand, she's saying all the right things. I think she even gives him a present at the end of it or something. And he's like, "Oh, yeah. oh, just for me? Oh, yeah. just for me? Oh, I'm so special." And then he looks up like her reviews, and it's like she does that for everybody. And he's like, "You bitch! That was for us. I'm special. You were supposed to just do it for me." Ah! Yeah. I mean, what do you expect? He's, I don't know. <laughs> he's, well, he's, he's just coming off a bad breakup he's feeling hopeful and so, he's he feels really slighted by the fact that she was like it was all just an act and there was no real feeling in it so that that's our main male protagonist but yeah so yeah he uh what's called he then takes sorry he then hires her a second time and he is just giving her nothing but shit the entire <laughs> time Wait, right. so, 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 yeah, so he comes away from the first date feeling good, looks up the reviews, feels negative because she's just uh, tailored her experience to such a good degree that it's so it feels so personal, but actually yeah. she's just so good at her job, she just gives everyone that experience. So then yeah. he decides to hire her again because... Because he's an asshole. Like, he, he, oh, because, okay. yeah. he, 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 wants to, he wants to leave her like a horrible negative review. And, yep. Right, you know, okay. Um, so... Uh, but that's when there was the emergency, and he had to go to the hospital with his to to, to go see his grandmother, who just fallen you know ill, and they were in the middle of the the date, so she came along as well, and introduced the gra- uh, the 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 renter girlfriend as actual girlfriend to the grandmother. The grandmother was like over the moon, and then told her best friend, which. Da, 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 da. Turns out it's actually the grandmother of the renter girlfriend. Yep. Okay, right. So we, you know, there's there's this insepid love trap kind of thing going on. Yep. And yeah, so that that's like the first couple of episodes. It's really really good. It's really wholesome. I I think it's getting a second season. It is. Yeah. I've been buying the manga, and it's like, oh, catch up before season two starts. Blah 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 blah. Ah, right, okay, so, like, DK has, like, clearly funded the second uh, anime series. By oh, itself. yes, oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it's, Honestly, uh, like... it's, it's down here somewhere, it's in the it's in the shelf somewhere, yeah. It's just, yep. I'm, like, ten volumes deep, so. It's, it's Honestly, it's really, really good, and people should check it out. So I'm not quite sure why you put this on your guilty pleasure list, though. Because, like I said, everybody gives me shit about it. Whenever I'm mm. like, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm reading the Rent-A-Girl, oh, yeah. Rent-A-Girlfriend manga, I'm like, oh, really? Oh, wow. It's so good. I can't believe it. That's such a stale anime. Nothing good ever happens. They just run around in circles every episode, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I haven't, I haven't found that. 
I think it's super wholesome, and I think yeah. it's it's nice seeing a uh, dorky, nerdy, dweeby dude actually get some confidence and actually like sort of get like better. Um, uh, some of the fan service is all right too. <laughs> oh yeah, there uh, is, isn't there? There's a little bit. There's there's some, there's, there's some shower scenes here and there. Yeah. All right. I feel bad for her, the one that's on the screen right now. Oh. Oh, she has it the worst because she genuinely loves the main character. And he has no feelings for her whatsoever. Yeah. That None. Is just, uh, Zero. Like, and she's even his official girlfriend. They agreed on it. That's his official girlfriend. It's it's and he reciprocates none of her affection. It's dumb. It's dumb. And she's adorable. <laughs> Ah, she yeah, ah, I feel bitch. so bad. Oh, fuck her, yeah. <laughs> so does, is I, she, is this, this is this is the original girlfriend, yeah, that dumped him. Yeah, this yeah. is the axe. This is the axe. I, she... I, hope, I hope that she gets the Madoka mommy treatment and a monster just bites her head off. Ah. Does he um, want to get back with her or YouTube. what? No, I don't think that I don't think he wants to get back with her at all. But she's a recurring character still? Yeah, yes. because like she she sees him. So in college? The, the, yeah. She yeah. sees him with the rent a girlfriend and she's like, wow, he moved on from me really quick. I want to make him miserable. And, and she knows that she's a rent a girlfriend and she just wants to make their life difficult because she's bitter. What of those? Does situations? she know? Yeah, she she wanted to like expose them or something. Like she she went through like this whole thing where she was like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna make him break up. Something she dumped him already. Uh -huh. What? Yeah. Well no, she just yeah, wants to like, see why you want this character to suffer something not very yeah. Very I nice. think she might want him back a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Like maybe that's later on in the manga. That's yeah. not project. That's like not Probably apparent in the anime. Again. She's Probably. a bitch, though. She is yeah. a hardcore. Ooh. Right. Should we move on to the next one? Yeah. Which is Nazareth's mm, number two. Fist yeah. of the North Star. Fist of the North Star, really? Uh, I mean, that's I know, guilty pleasure. Again, I know well, it's a classic. My emotion, Deru. Yeah, I know it's a classic that everyone has touched on, but it, ooh, it is. It there's oh, the plot is like at least this version. The plot is like no, so non-existent. It's yeah. it's just your basic, you know, track down mm -hmm. the the bad guy and kill him sort of thing. There's there's really not much deeper going on there. You're just watching it for the the crazy head explosions and you know um, guts exploding the, everywhere. Yeah, the yeah, pressure points. Yeah. yeah, like you wouldn't yep. want to watch this with your parents. You definitely wouldn't want to watch this with your parents mm, unless unless they're into that kind of movie not. too. Which yeah. you know, whatever. Um, I mean, there's probably worse in modern cinema now. You you'd probably be okay in 2021. If, you'd probably be okay. I think I think when we were talking about this uh, behind the scenes, I compared it to like the Mad Max movies in a way. It's it's that oh, level for sure. of just like wasteland and action mm -hmm. and wasn't Mad Max uh wasn't that a big influence on Fist of the North Star like the creator no, like no old idea. old 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 Mad Maxes weren't those like I, I honestly the, have uh, no idea but it does feel similar doesn't it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's also old oh, it's lost very, very very old. did you manage to to old. watch it before. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I couldn't find a sub, so I had to watch oh. the dub. So it yeah, isn't great. It, it is. Yeah, it, I mean, even the dub's amazing, just for how bad it is. Yeah. They have a really dope hardcover uh, manga uh, out now. You can, you can pick those up. They're really, you, really nice hardcovers. Did you know, DK, that there's a live action version made in the nineties? <laughs> it is <laughs> like it is amazingly bad. Like, uh, yeah. you have you can only you can't describe it. You can only witness it. I heard the one of the video games for it is really really good. Oh boy, um, it seems like it make a good game. Yeah, I forget what it was called, but I remember there's a there's a pretty good one. Oh, that's a that's a picture and a half right there. Yeah, yeah. Whew. that's like some from the very beginning. I think. Yeah, that's some. <laughs> He's into some kinky shit. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that gets me is it explains inside you. It explains nothing. The yeah. show explains nothing at all. It has. It does not explain why human beings go from being well. No, no. You've got normal humans. Then you've got the super muscly people with superpowers. Then for some reason you also have the occasional person who's about five times the size of a seven yes. foot gentleman who's the average fighter in this show. Yeah. 
And then you it's get people anime. who can turn their... Sk- no, no, but but like even... Let's go to Dragon Ball Z. It at least explains, you know, this is a race called the Saiyans. These are humans. This is mm-hmm. the space aliens thing. This does not. These are all just humans after... You know, it doesn't even go like, ah, due to the... the they're the, 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 the molecular war. Yeah, they're mutants. Mm-hmm. Even though you really couldn't be mutated, y- your heart would explode. It could, yeah. not, it could not power. Unless you had like two hearts or something, or a heart in your legs or something. There's no way that your, what, a normal heart can pump blood that big. And it's like, it doesn't even try. It just goes like... And it, like, it also never explains what Fist of the North Star is. And at the start of the show, you get like, the Fist of the North Star must not fight the Fist of the South Star. What, why? When? <laughs> because what, what will happen? Why is that bad? What? It's, okay? it's all the radiation from the post-apocalyptic world that they're in. That's what it is. <laughs> oh my god, you're like 8 feet tall and 20 feet <laughs> wide. It's radiation poisoning. Oh my god. <laughs> Go see a doctor. It's all just tumors. It's all tumors. Please these aren't me. these aren't holes that he poked. These are tumors. <laughs> Explain why they explode so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's for all for look at look how much we've been making fun of it for all those reasons. It is one hundred percent a guilty pleasure. So yeah, you I, I never... definitely think it aged. Uh, it aged like milk a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. So you so you, d- you don't want to admit that you actually like this to people. Yeah. Exactly. I don't exactly. think it'd be that bad if you were like, yeah, I love Fist of the North Star. I think you'd be all right. <laughs> I think you'd be all right. I don't think you'd catch any shit for that, actually. Okay. You'd just uh, get a lot of people going, oh, my womo. Nini. <laughs> True. Yeah. You'd get a lot of that, but I think it'd so, be all right. Uh, the next one on the list, I, I don't necessarily agree with as a guilty pleasure. Should we? I don't know if you guys agree with it or we should skip it. Well, we kind of talked about it a little at the beginning, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do, I do not out. agree with it as being a guilty pleasure. JoJo is on this list, and I do not agree. I feel like right. JoJo is so mainstream. Everybody knows JoJo. Everybody kind of loves JoJo. I don't then, think. Then let's skip it and okay. go straight to. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! With your butt. Does uh, a guilty oh. pleasure assume that you have to like it, though? <laughs> I like this. You like Keijo? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I, I do like uh, big boobs and, and uh, no, but, fat, like, fat derrieres, but I, really? Okay. No, I, okay. The, it, I'm trying to like justify this now. I feel like I've been put on the spot. So first Although, off, this, as, this as, wasn't mine. Looking at this, the list going down, this might be one of the tamer ones, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, this is one I've actually seen, and I, when I randomly discovered it, like, I think I was just watching, like, random TikToks, and there was this one TikTok where the, the uh, this teacher hip-checks a piece of chalk into a, a student's forehead. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I was just like, what the shit is this? <laughs> and yeah. I, you know, I checked the comments and, you know, the source was Keijo. And I thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'll give this a what. This is by far the most ludicrous sports anime. Yes, it's a sports anime I have yep, ever possibly seen. I- agreed. Right? Agreed. And I I can I can completely appreciate why someone would actually put this up as a guilty pleasure. Oh yeah, I mean just but, looking at looking at this scene right now. Yep. Oh, I mean the fan oh. service is great. It's but it's so ridiculous. So this is basically, this is the one that says to, like, "Don't underestimate the power of the true power of my butt" or something. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, it's like basically it's a sports anime where you're butt wrestling. You've got you, oh, or chest wrestling too, right? You can use your 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 butt or your chest, right? Yep. So you can't use so. your hands, though. Yes, you can't use. You basically, you can't use your limbs, and you have to um, push your opponent off of a platform suspended over a swimming pool. It's right? like Which water sumo. Is, uh, effectively, yeah, but with butts. Yeah, and, and boobs. butts and boobs. Yeah, bam. Yeah. And yeah. it's. It is utterly ridiculous in... I, I want to say how pretentious it is, but it never takes itself seriously. That is true. And it's... Uh, yeah. I enjoyed it. Yep. I, that's, that definitely belongs on the guilty pleasure list for sure. It sounds like American Gladiators, like that, that one part where they have where they have to stand on two platforms and fight each other. 
Only with instead of sticks, they're using their butts and their and their boobs. <laughs> kind of, except it's just one giant platform. But yeah, basically, you got you got the right idea. Yeah, I, I, yeah but the, like the 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 battle techniques that they employ are absolutely ludicrous. Like it was <laughs> I can't remember. There was one which is like they're doing hip checks so fast that they'll cause like um, undue stress on their their pelvis or something like this. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, yeah, it's, it's it's like you, you can't take this seriously. One but, more time and your hip will break. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> You know, I, I, you know, yep. but yeah, I, I can, I can totally get behind this one. Uh, that's, a, that's, that's a JoJo meme that Cage is doing right there. That's a, that's a... <laughs> I mean, JoJo memes are everywhere. That's true. They are. Yeah. They have, is that they, a JoJo's they, reference? Yeah, that's the go, 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 go. Yeah. Yep. Cool. That's a JoJo. Uh, should, we, should we move on to the next one? Because that was quite fast. I, I haven't right. seen the next one. I have heard of the next one. Has um, has it's anyone Lulu. Seen it? Has has anyone seen the next one? I'm oh, sure what somebody it? has. Oh. Sekon no Quasar. Nope. Have you have you heard of it? Do you know what happens in it? Oh, you're in for a treat. Okay. Let's, oh, let's, you're in for a. <laughs> this, was, this was definitely one of those where I struggled to find a right. to oh, yeah. screenshot. Uh, this. This has more content warnings than the sun. <laughs> yep, it sure do. It sure do. Right. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 Do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to give oh. us a, a, a what's called a rundown of what this is? Do you want to admit you've seen this? Okay. I, I, I haven't seen it. You. Someone else has to give oh. the rundown because I. I can't. I. I. <laughs> I know how the main character powers up. <laughs> okay, well, while I quickly go get the rundown, why don't you... I mean, so none of us seen this. No, none of us have seen this. Right. For okay. very good reasons. Mm-hmm. This, was, this must have been a Twitter uh, suggestion then. Oh, yeah, totally was. Oh, it has to be. <laughs> as, as... Name and shame. <laughs> Find no, who, it... who suggested it on Twitter so we can personally name <laughs> them and shame them. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you say about powering up the main character, so I just, just quick like images, and I'm like, okay, I see a recurring theme in some of these images here. Okay, yeah. Yep, so yep. the the main character, really like, if he wants it. to power, if he wants to power up, uh, uh, he needs he needs to drink. Actually, uh, them. <laughs> he he needs to drink fresh breast milk. As, as you do, you know, this is all yes. power. As, yeah. as you do, <laughs> as you do. Yeah, he needs he needs that breast, breast milk. milk. Yep. Okay, oh, I'll t- I'll tell you what, because I don't think I could keep a straight face. I'm going to give this to Loz. Loz, fancy <laughs> reading out the... Yeah, Roz, yes, you, yes. you literally the plot. Yeah. I can do it's thrown it. to you. It's thrown yeah, to okay, you. hang on, hang on. Let's go. Where, where is it Where is it thrown to me? Oh, uh, privately on Discord. on Discord. Yeah. Okay, uh, Discord. Why is Discord dying? No, come on, Discord. Full screen. No. Why? This is, Why? This is the definition of a guilty pleasure anime. This is... This, <laughs> like... Yeah, Why does I, it... I feel... What? Ah, there we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. 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 Here we go. Right. Give it to us. Okay. I'm gonna fail at saying that the, the, the name of the academy. It sent M- Mihalayov. M- Mihalayov Academy. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Oh no, that's that's not the full thing. I need to click. Sorry, I need to open this to get the full thing. Here we go. At the sent Mihalayov. I fail at saying things. Academy. Strange things are happening. Not only did the dean disappear, leaving his daughter Tomo and adopted daughter Mafu. Okay. Alone. Yep. But girls in the nearby city are being killed by an unknown foe. However, the blades begin to fly when a Russian boy named Sasha arrives. He is a quasar, a person able to manipulate the elements after ingesting Soma breast milk. And he's not the only one. Not Soon, the only one. Tomo and Mafu find themselves in the middle of a battle between two groups of quasars whose goal is to protect or steal the th- Theo Tokos of Starisin. Yes. Yeah. Mm. With more allies than enemies arriving, who will survive the assault? Who indeed? It's just a sentence of a person able to manipulate the elements after ingesting Soma. Breast, breast milk. milk. <laughs> <laughs> and he is not the only one. Oh my god, why? Wasn't it wasn't it like it had to be a specific woman? Like they're only specific like candidates whose breast milk works or something? I I have no fucking I, you know, if you're asking the question, that means you know more information than we do. 
A part of me thinks it had to be like virgin breast milk or something. Oh, right. dear God. But I'm not entirely sure. Mm. So this got it an is, anime. Yeah, it, it several it seasons. Two. It got two. Two yeah. seasons, I think. Yeah. But it's definitely wait, wait, not you, a hentai. Yeah, definitely you got, not. Nope, nope, you definitely got people not. to pick shows that they're guilty pleasures on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Apparently. But did, yes. but did you make them give a small sentence why? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you should have made them say why yeah. as well. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Hold on. Back it up there, Loz. Oh, okay. You just read out the plop synopsis. <laughs> that, that was, that doesn't Was that not enough? <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be one of those ones where, like, the, uh, the combat is so wild that it yeah. makes up for the fact oh. that, like, oh, hey. I think, I um, think somehow that girl slipped into the, what, what one was that? Oh yeah, that was in Friends um girlfriend or something. No, yeah, irregular high school, the irregular. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think that that's right. slipped in there. Oops, that's probably my bad. I I got to believe it's 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 like the combat is so good and so well drawn and the rest of the plot is decent that it's like, yeah, he might have to drink breast milk, but boy is it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I I, ima I imagine it's pretty good fan service. I, I a part of me is just like, don't worry, men. I will fall on this grenade for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will report on how bad this show is. That's all. Because look at how edgy that fool is. Like, look yeah. at him. Yeah. Like, I bet he can do some wild shit after getting his daily dose of vitamin C, D, whatever. S, D, B, S, double D. B. Whatever. B. Vitamin, no, yeah, yeah, vitamin yeah. double D, yeah. yeah. No, he, he, it's, it, but that's not be vulgar. He's going for the precious Soma. He just wants his fresh... Glass yeah, of well, soma in the morning. You gotta get that <laughs> calcium. He's gotta get strong bones. You gotta, you gotta grow big and strong. You know, so it's growing lad. There's no cows uh, in in uh, the the world of KSR. Sure. Yeah, there's no cows. It's just <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get your. Uh, he's just, he's a growing boy. Give him a break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, Goodness. so yeah, so that's. I, I don't think any of us can argue why this is possibly on the list. Nope, no arguments here. Right. Uh, the next one is Monster uh, Musume. You passed up freezing. Is it? No, it's freezing. Yeah. I did. Yeah. No, I did oh, because okay. we don't have any screenshots for it because no one's ever heard of it. Right. You've never heard okay. of freezing? I've actually have seen you? freezing. Oh, damn it. Oh. See, I, I was, I've I was, actually I was, seen like the first two seasons of freezing. It was a while ago, but I've seen it. And I know of it. It has is a it, lot it, of fan service in it. It has a lot, is, but it's 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 a battle anime. Okay, and so is it good? it's like good? a battle academy anime. Yeah, battles are great, oh, but cool. it's a lot of fan service. <laughs> a lot of fan service. Yeah. How old is it? Uh, twenty eleven. Anywhere right. between five and ten years. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Right. Well. <laughs> Unfortunately, he, we he didn't just wants to... to talk about monster waifus. I get it. I get it. He's like, well, yeah, I, mean... I, I want to talk about my harpy waifu, dude. Get off my back. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, one of the ones later on. That's for Loz. So, <laughs> yeah. but uh, mm. anyway, so one. I, I honestly couldn't finish this show. Oh, um, I never started it. I never. I've never seen it actually. So. I, I remember, st like, I, I was like, oh, you know, I, I turned to one of my friends and was just like, hey, is there any, like, anime that, you, you know, has particularly got your interest this season? And he was like, oh, yeah, Monster Musume. And I'm like, okay, Musume, rather. And I was like, oh, I'll have to give this a go. It's... <laughs> it's what? It's, it's so... Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's oh, God. God. It's yeah, no, it... it so basically, uh, you, you know how we keep on complaining how most harem shows, the male protagonist is too dumb to realize that all these girls are coming on to him? Yeah. 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 Imagine that, except for all of these girls are half animal of some kind. Or monster. You had my interest. You had my attention. Now you have my interest. Spider Life and is pretty great. They, they, they all want to have their wicked way with him to the point of nearly killing him multiple times. God, <laughs> right? Wait, I, I know of this show. This is the one that has the seven meter body pillow for. Yeah, it? I was about to ask if you'd oh. seen that. Oh, 
Yeah. Yes, that's the one. The Lamia body pill that's uh, literally like seven feet long. Yeah. I had no, forgotten about 22 that. feet long. 22 feet oh, or seven oh, meters long. 22 feet. Huge. Meters? Come on, you gotta talk in American, dude. Meters? Pfft. We don't use meters over here. It's feet. <laughs> Yeah, use freedom. America freedom has freedom. America has foot fetish, dude. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> the Lamia oh, doesn't even gosh. have any feet. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's but true. like, You're right. so, like, so one of the later ones is uh, the Monster Girl Doctor, which Lars is going to talk about. Yes, for science. It it has nowhere near as much ludity as Monster Musume. Like, th like one of the key parts about the narrative is how the Lamia goes to the toilet. Oh my god! Right. And how... Oh, she? Well... Yes. <laughs> if you're interested... Question. If you're interested... We need to know for go, science. <laughs> well, you could go... You could do, go do some first-hand information. You know, so go data retrieval if you Google really, really want to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Google that live Save for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how she wears underwear and you know stuff Another like this great so. question does she yeah she does is there any reason to because i mean she's just a snake bottom uh well Quote unquote, i'm not gonna uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna does like does the snake part start right under where it becomes yeah. human? So uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes uh, sense. All right, all right, all right. I got yep. you. Okay. So, okay. but I I couldn't finish this series. I just because like again part of it like the harpy girl, which hasn't appeared in any of the screenshots thus far. Uh, <laughs> she. How did you let that happen? What do you mean? It's it's randomly picked. It's like oh, okay. yeah. So like she, like I think there was a big deal about her laying an egg, and it, it was just like, all right. Is 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 this? I mean, a harpy something? would probably do that. She probably yeah. would lay an egg if she. Yeah, but is it like really that pertinent of a plot point to make an entire episode about? Yeah, that's her offspring. Are you sure you're not thinking of the Doctor one? Because that is a plot element in the Doctor one. But it's no, actually you see, the Doctor fun. one, it's actually really well done. Right. But in this one, it's just like, naff. And then there's the slime girl, who gets larger if she gets wet. That time I got reincarnated as a slime girl? Pretty much. <laughs> see, for somebody who says he couldn't finish it, I think, I think he just doesn't want to admit he finished no, I. Oh, I watched, is this I, super guilty pleasure time no, with Xenogelion? I, I, I watched a lot of this. I just genuinely couldn't finish it. It's a safe at all. space, dude. If you like Monster Musume, <laughs> I'm not. This definitely isn't being recorded for the internet. No, no, no. It's no, okay. No. No, that's like, all, that's all. I watched Freezing, you know? It's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, right, okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I do not recommend this one. But if, if people, like. Yeah, if you have your opinions on why this one's Ooh, a good one, I've Spider Wife is looking good though. I think she tries to molest the main character. Oh yikes. Oh. Never mind. Yeah. So right. it's just like Oh yeah, I'm like a black widow where I'm gonna do you and then just rip How your did head she off. Get those shorts mm. on. Oh, so you're actually covering it up Nazareth. Her um her sort of like human esque legs are actually her front legs. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, oh, that's just weird. That's weird. Yeah. 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 Great under boob though. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one's also a mermaid. But yeah, honestly, the the doctor, so monster girl doctor is so much better. All right. right. Should we should we move to the the next one? Oh, which is bloody Rosario to vampire. Is it actually called Rosario 2 Vampire? Yes, that's what it's actually the, so called. So the, the, the plus is for two? Yeah. God, names are Japan's so weird. weird anime. Hunter, yeah. it's not Hunter x Hunter, it's Hunter Hunter. It's yeah. not High School DXD, it's High School DD or Double D. It's not, yeah. it's not Rosario plus Vampire, it's Rosario 2 Vampire. Yep. Yeah. Just write that shit out. <laughs> it's just like, what is, it's, it's you run out of logo. characters? Like, is there is there like a fourteen character limit? And you're like, oh shit, put a plus in well, there. We don't have any characters see, left. Weirdly enough, that you say that, DK, because in this day and age, they do write it all out. 
along yeah. with the entire plot synopsis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that time I was reincarnated as a school bus who drove little kids to school and then died and then became a sorcerer. Yeah. Oh, goodness. They do write that oh, yeah. whole shit out. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. I, out of interest, has anyone else? So this was another Twitter one. Has anyone else seen Rosario to Vampire? I recall seeing a couple of episodes. Um, okay. But nothing okay. super specific. All I've heard about it is that the anime is absolute trash tier and the manga is actually serviceable. Yes. That's, that's all yeah. I've heard. Yeah. So so basically, uh, our, our male protagonist, who is a human, ends up going to the monster dimension and ends up going to high school in the monster dimension. And... I can't remember if they know he's human or it's only a select group that know he's human, but effectively, like, it, it's villain of the week esque escapades. Oh. And the, the, the pink haired vampire girl becomes fully awoken into white haired vampire waifu when. Um, I think she drinks his blood. Oh no, she breaks right. off the. No, no, she breaks off the the Rosario, the the cross on her. Um, oh. okay. I think I think she needs extra power by drinking his blood and things. Um, and really quickly, it it drifts away from the manga because when she drinks his blood in the manga, he becomes half vampire, as he right? should. That's how it works. And. Yeah. and he ends up becoming the the one that fights the the villain of the week instead of oh. the vampire waifu, right? Who's always doing so? Yeah, it, it oh, massively boy. diverges. Yeah, it massively. That's like diverges. completely different. That's not even. Yeah. It has yeah. no respect for the source material. Well, no, it's because they never got that far when they were writing the manga, and then they started this. Because they started this, and then they just went and did their own thing really quickly. It's very much like oh. uh, the first iteration of um, well, Alchemist. Alchemist. Thank you. Yeah. So, but yeah, so th this one, it, it's like... It, it's, I, I suppose, to use um, DK's term, it's serviceable as a series. Like, you, you've got knockoff uh, Megumin... You've got blue haired succubus girl. You've got white vampire waifu. You know, uh, you've got uh, oh god, was it like a, a snow fairy who was the the girl with the I think like the purplish hair, and um, she she turns everything to snow. But yeah, it's it's. <sighs> this was made in two thousand and eight. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I'm just looking at that, and you know, you're saying that, it, that they didn't have the manga. It doesn't look very good either. Like the art doesn't look that great. Very like, it so looks very saying? sort of like bargain bin anime. Well, I, was, the, you know, the, the mid 2000s was that period between you know the 90s. You had that lovely high detail stuff where they drew everything, and then you've got 2000s mm -hmm. where they're trying to touch things up digitally to save time, and it yeah. just looks like it just looks lazy. But it's, it's published 2004 out. to 2007. So when they made this. You know, this started coming out in 2008, so they must have had the manga and just went like, nah, we're going to no, make our own. They would have probably started uh, producing this, like, mm, no, what do you mean 2004 to 2007? The the original was July 6th, 2004 to June 6th, 2007. There was a sequel that was 2007 to 2014, unless this is based on season two of the sequel. I've, I've got the wiki page up. Anybody can edit the wiki. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a valid I, source. No, to, to be fair, I would expect this to have been two to three years in production before it actually went live. But, I, I, what's it called? So that would have been... Like 2006. What, um, six volumes into the manga, which is actually a lot later than I expected. Maybe they just decided, oh yeah, we're just going to do it just completely different. We want the girl yeah. to fight because it's hotter. Yeah, we can sell way more merch if there's another hot vampire girl. Seems like a bad move. When has it ever gone well when you're like, you know what? Fuck the source material. Yeah. yeah, who cares? Let's not. Like, 
I, I I don't know about you. I, I, have you read any of the the Chainsaw Man manga? Uh, I read volume one, but then it's yeah. like impossible to find the rest of the volumes. Really? Well, at least over here it is. I I I, I think I can get volume two, but then like three, five, and six are impossible to find. Ah, uh, are you buying them physical print or are you getting them digital? Uh, physical. For some yeah. reason with manga, I, I, I have to get it physical. I can't read it online on like an Amazon reader. I'm not sure right. why, like any other book is like, yeah, whatever. I'll read that online. But with manga, I, I have to have the physical. Right. Fair enough. Um, okay. So I think we've, we've said all that can be said about Rosario. It's a vampire. So move on to the next one. Um, I'm not quite sure who has seen again. This is a Twitter one. Needless. Uh, I've heard of Needless. I know I've I saw it years and years ago. But... Maybe it's a guilty pleasure because when he's like, I watch Needless, and everybody's like, "What?" And he's like, "Oh, now I'm embarrassed because no one's ever heard of it." <laughs> it is. It is quite an old one. Uh, but again, I'm pretty sure it was like about um, post-apocalyptic world. Super, shoot, let's find it. Let's just find it. Look at, look at this edge lord. At the onset of World War Three, nobody white, could predict white the hair, effect. red eyes. Excuse me, Dante. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, that's, that's that's later. Oh, that's <laughs> later. Right, 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 right. right. Um, yeah, what I haven't, crazy. I haven't really seen any of these until we get down to the last two. Great laws. Well, I've, 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 I've heard of a bunch of them. I, I haven't real, I haven't seen anything of Needless. I've seen a couple pictures, never seen it. But do uh... it, Lars. Okay. So at the onset of World War Three, nobody could have predicted the effect it would have on Japan. While it had officially ended fifty years ago in twenty one fifty, its battle, its battle still persists. Persist. Large, mysterious areas known as black spots appeared across the country, filled with the contaminated ruins of cities and countrysides. What in the... Okay. Those inside were trapped to halt the spread of contamination, and their powers began to mutate, be they shapeshifters, pyromancers, or controllers of gravity itself. They all became known as the Needless. Adam Blade. Oh god. Oh, Adam no. Blade. Is that one sounds like a wrestler. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I don't know if this is Adam Blade. That's got to be Adam Blade, right? Look at the size it's of his me. abs. I want to <laughs> say, could he pull up his trousers, please, for the no. love of god? <laughs> no, he's a fuckboy. Also, Blade. look at look at the ratio of body to head. Look at how tiny his head is, is dude. Is this JoJo suddenly? Like, good lord, his pecs are like double, like each peck is the size of his head. Yeah. Or bigger. <laughs> good god. Where are his arms attaching? I mean, they don't quite look right for where they're going into Oh, that's the true. His that's shoulders true. are all weird. His shoulders are all fucked up. Well, I mean, he is a mutant, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, they are mutants. Yeah, yeah. well, they're explained, right. Okay, so where are we at? So when Adam you were Blade. reading it, I was I was hoping you were oh. going to say nobody could have expected the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, really hoping for that. <laughs> Adam Blake joined the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, right. Japan, Japan, Japan. the first time and still <laughs> siding with the bad guys. Okay, well, so, so so Adam Blade is one such needless, possessing remarkable regenerative abilities and incredible strength. In order to restore peace to a war-torn Japan, he and his allies must fight together to rise against heinous research group by the name of... Oh god, it's, I never know of this. It's Japan where they put an E in Simon. Is it Simeon? Simon? Simon. 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 Right, there you go. There's Needless. Simon. I, I need to find out who is is that is that Adam Blade? Is that, it, that sounds, sure it, has is. To be, it has to be Adam Blade. Pretty sure it, it is. So it's There's just no X-Men is, is what it is. <laughs> it's just, I, just I, anime X-Men. I kind of I kind of feel that it's more horny anime X-Men. Okay, horny anime X-Men. Sure. I feel sure. I mean I'm pretty sure there's I can't remember how much fan service there is in this. Probably like, enough. In, in oh, Needless? Warnings. Yeah, Needless. Yeah. Oh. I thought that's a. Isn't other that than his other than his abnormally large abs, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it just says violence on there. Yeah, yeah. 
Because they do the punching. Yeah, I, I don't remember well, the answer either. With abs like that, I'm sure he's absolutely crushing people. Absolutely crushing them. Ab absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to abstain from uh, <laughs> commenting further on that. <laughs> absolutely. An abomination with these puns. That's abhorrent. Oof. <laughs> Uh, these puns are uh, abrasive. Yeah. It feels like I'm under abuse here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got one. You got one. I don't know what Loz is checking. I think Loz is checking to see I'm if it is. I'm distracted by Adam he's, <laughs> he's, he's looking up ab puns. He's like, let's yeah. see. What words start with ab? Oh my god, Adam he, Blade, he wants to get on this. ab. Oh. Adam Blade, he's Ab, yeah. yeah. Just uh, perfect. So, perfect. I, I, I can kind of get this as a bit of a guilty pleasure, but I think only because you would enjoy the series more than it's, like... It sounds terrible, but it's fun yeah. to watch. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I think that's... The, the art the, style looks really funky. Like, it, it looks like a kind of a goofy, like really uh over exaggerated uh, art style it, it might be fun to watch i don't know yeah I, I really just can't remember i remember watching it years ago i remember enjoying it i don't know if i got the dvds of it i don't think i do but yeah so there we go they so made that's, that's dvds of this yep so that's needless um i think we're gonna skip the the next one because I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not, never heard of it. Is, it, gonna... is it just the anime version of supernatural because that's that's yeah. what i saw yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Anime version of Supernatural is that like? Of course there is. Yeah, that show it's was like... stupid popular. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I didn't watch it, but it was stupid popular. I did. Cool. Love, love Supernatural. Uh, moving on to the next one, which is Devil May Cry. Ah. I didn't realize yes. Devil May Cry had an anime. Good for you. <laughs> Judging it, on so the is this... screenshots I found, neither did anyone else. <sighs> Is this a guilty pleasure because it's like a bad anime or is it a guilty pleasure because people are like, wow, a Devil May Cry anime? That seems pointless. Just play the I game. Feel, I feel it's the former. I really feel it's the former because like, all right. I I remember watching all of this and I was just like, well, that that's 12 episodes Yikes. worth of time. I'm never going to get back. In my Oof. experience, video game tie ins are almost never good. No, very rarely. Are Unless you're talking about Arcane. Unless you're talking about Advent Children. Really, that one was so no. amazing. Mm. No, it's not. Bah Bahama <laughs> thing a thing thing. Advent Bahama Children is eye candy. It's it eye is. candy it for Final Fantasy fans. Eye candy, yeah. It's you don't pay attention to the story, you just look at how pretty it is and go, wow. <laughs> that is indeed very pretty. I'm glad I watched that. Yep. No, but, but, and you keep waiting for you, Sephiroth you, to show up. You don't mm -hmm. agree with me, Zeno. Mother! Anyway, they use the FF10 Bahamut. No, no, the show, uh, that that the anime show that was actually made for an app game, and it's like, okay, I'll just watch this. It's something Tears of Bahamut or something. Oh, she Mega Matense uh, Bahamut. And then in English? No, sorry, no, not she Mega Matense. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say they made no a... Bahamut. Shinek uh, Shingeki no Bahamut. I was yes. gonna say they made an SMT game just to make a bad anime and mobile game out of it. No, <laughs> what? Yeah. It no, just see, sells itself. That that anime is, is all right. I'm not saying it's amazing, but like I watched it, it was like I was like I started watching. It, it was like one watch episode. I was like, hey, what is this? Oh, it was made because of an app game. Okay, I'll just watch the rest of it. I was like, it's all right. It was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. It was, it was actually decent. really good. It was, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So f fuck the DMC anime, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's, it was really, really bad. I, I, I can only assume that someone put it on there because, like, like it's bad, but it's DMC, and they like DMC. Yeah, it's bad. I guess if you're a hardcore Devil May Cry fan, you're like, oh, it's all the characters that I know. It's their backstory. Oh, it's, it's, it's cool for me, but. I, I don't even think it's their backstory or anything. It's just like, yeah. So this is, you know, you could literally replace this with any other characters. In the known universe, you can just pick up brand new ones, yeah. And then you know you, you got you got this, you got this. When I was when I was looking around, I saw people comparing it to or comparing the Castlevania 
anime to this and i'm not sure like really because they're both based on games did they did they i I didn't actually look too deeply into it i just saw a couple of headlines as i was scrolling past are they comparing it because castlevania is good (laughs) and this is bad maybe (laughs) here's what good adaptations of video games look like here's what a shit one looks like wow what a contrast like that could be the only thing because like seriously the the Castlevania anime is actually really, really good, but this one's just pants. <laughs> Though to be fair, I heard like one of the Annie tubers earlier today saying like, "No, the Castlevania anime is just bad as well." I'm just like, their opinion mm-hmm. is now invalid. Yep, you can never exactly. listen to them again. <laughs> yeah, yep, exactly. sorry, you're wrong on all accounts. I cannot trust you anymore. So the the next one that they were suggesting, and I didn't realize this until I actually got too oh. far was Monogatari. And they actually meant the Monogatari series. Yeah, like, because there's a ton of Monogatari. There's Bakemonogatari. There's he's, there's a shitload of them. Right. Yeah, that's why I didn't touch that Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I didn't realize until I'd run out of time that that's what they meant. Ah. So I wasn't able to actually get any of the, the items. Uh, what's it called? Have, have you watched any of the, the Monogatari stuff, DK? A little bit. I could see why this is on um, a guilty play. Because it's a, it's a good, like, sort of... I don't know if I want to say paranormal anime. Uh, but it does get pretty heavy with fan service. Like, there are some... Like, I don't know if you've ever seen that uh, weird anime gif of the older brother brushing his younger sister's teeth. And it's really hyper-sexualized, and they're in like the bathtub together, and it's it's it, it's got some very very awkward moments. Uh, no, I've it. I've never you've never seen that. Oh wow, no. good for you. Good good for you. I'm not sure um, I ever want to. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 super hyper-sexualized. Some of the moments, and it's real awkward. But it's I remember the earlier ones being all right. Because it's less fan service and like se- less sexualized, but as time went on, it became very. My under- <laughs> my understanding with the Monogatari series is that a lot of it is lost in translation. Oh, is it? That's that was my understanding. Um, Surely you've seen the. I think it's Bucky Monogatari, the long purple haired lady. She pulls know, up her dress, uh, and all of the all of the uh, office supplies come out. Yeah, like all the scissors and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I, I know of her. I know of a lot of the characters, but I've just never watched any of it. Yeah, I remember it being oh. all right. I didn't I didn't watch much past the first one, but I remember it being all right. Okay. Right but on. I could see I could see with all of the weird hyper-sexualized memes going around how you'd be like, ooh, maybe I don't want to tell people I watch this. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, oh, Laz looks like he has a follow-up question. He looks, he looks stunned. I think he went and, think he went and found the uh, the gif. I found the toothbrushing scene. There's oh, this. you found like, the gif! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gif. This thing's huge. This thing's like several minutes long. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, I've I I I imagine it is, but I've only seen like the gif that gets passed around on like, uh, like J List. They'll post it or something. It's it's you you you're right. Oh. You can see why you'd be like, yeah, maybe I don't want to admit that I watch this. Maybe mm. I don't have no idea what I'm watching. Yeah, and then uh, I think uh, the. Do you guys know the anime man? He's a big fan of uh, one yes. of the Monogatari characters, Shinobu. Yeah, yeah that's um, that's who I was referring to about the the Castlevania stuff. Yeah, so. Yeah, 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 it's it's always when you're like, yeah, Shinobu's my wife. When it's like, it's one of those situations where it's like, um, but I I, I yeah. get that she's a vampire and she's probably like thirty thousand years old, but she looks like she's like twelve, <laughs> if that, if that, yeah. And it's like if it's that. weird. It's like uh, I like it's it's that weird territory that I don't like wandering into. Right. Okay. So. The I, I, Laz, do you have anything else you want to highlight? <laughs> Are you is still there, watching it, Laz? Is there a reason to brush underneath someone's tongue? I don't think there is. Y- yeah, I'm pretty sure that's there's no reason lives. to do that. Yeah, no. sure. You yeah, gotta, no. you gotta, no. every, no. every nook and cranny, dude. Yep. I, I'm are. doubting this, this person's ability to brush his sister's teeth. I seriously do not think that is the most efficient way of brushing someone's teeth. No. Yep. No, and, there, and there are tons that. of one where like the the sisters like naked. Still going. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Still going. Oh, oh dear. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's the rent a girlfriend fake kiss moment where they have to. Mm. They're in front of the 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 group, and it's like, oh, you should totally kiss. It's New Is Year's this or something. An indirect kiss. Yep. Super indirect because she puts her hand up and kisses her hand instead of him, but she's got like her phone up because I want to take a picture of it. Yeah. No, 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 no. She's like trying to be shy and things about it because like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. So. The, the next one on the list is Iki Tausen. Again, Twitter. Uh, it's Iki Tausen. <laughs> I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> clearly, you are one who has watched Iki Tausen. What about I, Iki Toho? I, I, I've watched a little bit of Iki Tausen. Uh, do you remember when there was actually, like, I think it was an anime network, and it was actually on, like, cable TV, if you had the right provider? Vaguely, yes. I we didn't have that. Here, but, but I remember hearing it, about it. Iggy Tosin was on that all the time. <laughs> all the time. So I'm pretty sure the English dub, aside translation to this, was Battle Vixens. Sounds about right. That's that's kind of what it is. I mean, it's a it's a battle anime with a lot of a lot of upskirt uh, shots, uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of high kicks and short skirts. So that's about it. I don't think Are you able to tell us anything about it, Loz? I'm still watching the toothbrushing scene. It's still going. <laughs> it's still going. Jesus. It's still going. Are you sure it didn't just repeat? No. No. That, it, that then they were on a mountain, and then they were in space, and it was like particles were coming out of her mouth. What? And then, and, wow. Uh, it, it Does just, it just happen more than once in the show, and they and they put them all together? No. I've that that was a that was one short finished. Twitter gif of it. That was like okay, ten I'll, seconds. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna. Oh no! Th- this is like four minutes long. I'm gonna, oh. I'll leave it for everyone to watch later. Yeah. Um, wow! Okay. But no, that is. Uh, Ikito Sen. Uh, for eighteen hundred years, the seven schools of Kanto have fought over supremacy of the land. Their student, uh, sorry, students constantly fight each other over the um, fight each other in battles to prove their strength. Song Saku Hakufu is a 17 year old girl that just transferred to Nanyo Academy and at her arrival finds herself fighting one of the top four fighters. But oh my god, this just seems like crazy. Let's just fight anime, but get oh, fan no, service I'm- in there too. I'm mixing up Ikitosin with another anime, and I forget what the anime is called. You're not thinking Tenja Tenge, are you? No, I'm not. Um, shit. I've seen little bits of Ikitosin, though I know I have. I know that main character, but I'm mixing it up with some other anime, and I can't remember what it's called. Fighting, but sometimes we get our boobs out. It's, uh, it's like the main character. This isn't going to narrow it down. It's like a sort of hapless, brown-haired character, and like... Everybody he meets at school is like a battle hardened, like super warrior, and they have to like train him to be like semi competent at fighting. Tenchi. No. <laughs> uh, I think they I know the way. What? what are they fighting? They're, they're fighting. Yeah, they're just fighting other people. Oh. Um. I'm they just spend the Google majority of the time in um, anime. like uh, a, a training dojo sort of thing, and he's becoming. Yeah, is it yeah, Kenichi yeah, yeah. the ultimate? Um, yes. Yes, that's the one. It's Kenichi. Mm. That was the one that was on the anime network like all the time, like 24-7. You could always find an episode of that playing. That's the one. It was like Kenichi long. the Ultimate or what? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's the one I was thinking of. Thank you. That was gonna bother me all day long. Kenichi the mightiest disciple? Is that the one? Yes, the one? yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, that's the one. Right. So yep, yeah, well. No one's watched uh, Ikitosen, but I, I, I've got... I, I think I understand why this is on here. However, I'm not going to lie. The quality of this art doesn't look too great. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Well, it's 2003. Yeah, it's not terrible. I, it's watchable. Yeah. It's, mm. you know... I, I with with how much uh, upskirts and stuff and like, oh no, you punched my shirt off. There is. I could see why someone would put this on like a on a, a guilty pleasure list. Yeah, sure. I don't know about the next one. I guess the next one is right. I didn't have time to get screenshots of this one. However, I have watched 
speed grapher. Mm-hmm. No, speed I love speed grapher. Yeah, I was gonna say speed grapher was really good from what I remember. It's yeah. violent. Um, it's. I don't remember I mean, it, how much fan a, service there was, but it was very violent. It was very violent. There was a lot of like eroticism in it. Mm -hmm. Like so, the the general premise of Speed Grapher, like realistically, Speed Grapher is the anime that you have to follow the three episode rule because the first two episodes are just meh. Yeah, but <laughs> the third episode. Once he gets that camera, though. So basically. Um, people are gaining superpowers, and there's like a secret underground, uh, like a shadow council that's running everything and like running the world. Yeah. And effectively, this this uh, journalist, this uh, sorry, uh, f is it photographic journalist? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I think he used he to be a war up... journalist, right? He used to photograph war. I can't remember. That does sound uh, familiar, but anyway, so he he stumbles upon this like shadow council this this underground uh shenanigans and he discovers at the heart of it is this schoolgirl who is getting brainwashed into uh just kissing random people and whenever she does she gives them superpowers oh. right oh. yep so he ends up getting the ability what what was like if he looked through a camera lens and he took a photo what happened i can't remember I, they like exploded or they died they 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 got brutally mauled if you yes. took a snapshot yeah and that's why i think mm. he was a war photographer because it was the same idea where all he all he pictured was death because he would just take shots of like people that were suffering from war yeah and so his like hidden secret ability was your camera is actually your greatest weapon or something it's mm. really interesting Mm -hmm. It's it really, is really, really, really good. good. Yeah. Um, the uh, uh, what's called the really interesting thing is the um, the intro was I I don't know the song, but it's like girls on film. I don't oh, remember girl. what the intro was. Yeah. I, yeah. I do not remember. But the I, d I don't know who the artist is. It's an American artist. But I I the for the us release they had to use the japanese song for the whole of it because they couldn't get the licensing rights for right. the intro uh yeah. so um but yeah basically all, all these like shadow council members they all have like weird sort of like i, I want to almost say bdsm-esque uh, <laughs> yeah. superpowers <laughs> Yep. And right. um but honestly Speed Graph is really good. Like maybe maybe nostalgia goggles are like firmly planted like on my face right now. But yeah, I wish I had time to actually get backgrounds for Speed no, Graph. It does actually sound really just based on that premise, it sounds really interesting. But, yeah, it is. But the, sound, the, the the premise sounds interesting. the The power system sounds cool. The, it looks good. Just the, I'm looking through some screenshots. Why is this someone's guilty pleasure? What What's wrong with it? What probably what is, what is because issue? it's it's more of that like if your parents came in and watched it with you, you'd probably want to turn away real quick because it's so violent and there is a lot of sort of like erotic imagery. So it's probably the, like it's a really good anime, but like there's some really like sort of adult yeah stuff going on. So, 10 years have passed since the demise of the bubble economy, uh, a time that polarized the world into two groups, the rich and the poor. In the present day, Saiga Tasumi, uh, a former war photographer, has been hired to investigate a secret club for the rich named the uh, Rapongi Club, but he soon discovers secrets much darker than he ever imagined. With the help of an exploited goddess named um, Kagura, Saiga uh, now possesses the power to kill by simply taking a photograph. But can he stay alive long enough to save her from her captors? Uh, yeah. What are the what are the okay. content warnings and stuff on it? Uh, mature good? themes, physical abuse, sexual abuse, and violence. Yep, yep. that's probably why it's it a guilty pleasure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. So I might actually 
like you know over the Christmas break actually watch that again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mm. if there's a, especially if there's an English dub, I'm gonna pop that. Yep, on there is. Another yeah, yeah, there definitely is. I I have the box set for it sitting in my closet. Yep, yeah. so do I. It's, well, it's it's in a box for me, but yeah. So cool, right? So now we're gonna move on to Loz's one. Yeah. Wait, why can't why can't I? Crap! I can't see it here. Um, after 2020, 2020 summer. 2020. Okay, hold on. Decade. Oops. Right. Well, I only added this one in after we had what was it? The other one before Oops. Monster Masume. Yeah. Yes. I was like, I haven't <laughs> seen that, but this sounds very much like Monster Girl Doctor, which came out last I... year. Which I think we'll get yep. some pictures of in a sec. Can I turn my cam off and take a quick bathroom break? Oh, oh do you want to pause? Let's pause. Yeah. Pause. Okay. We have a cool, pause. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'll be <laughs> Buttons, right. Sorry, I'll be right back. Right. So. Goodbye. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, DK. Beautiful. <laughs> Wait, you didn't have a drink that time. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay, so Monster Girl Doctor. I added this one in after... I didn't actually consider it until so I saw we, we were looking through the list of had we seen things and there was Monster Mas Masumi? Masome? Masume. Yep. And I, I wanted to add this one in because for the majority of the reason the show, I think I've watched the show at least twice through because I just enjoy the premise of each episode, but it is just generic monster tarum show, but at least we have I don't know, I don't know what the background is for the other one which I think is just everyone get with guy at least in this one we have a the framing of the there's our main character on the right who is training to be a monster girl doctor and learn about all the different monsters it's just in the world a, and no, no it's just a it's just a monster doctor monster but it girl, just turns out yes no, i swear yeah. he just treats all girls that's true that's you know one else gets ill <laughs> well, well male monsters treat themselves <laughs> for some reason i don't know they punch it better yeah. So is At this least... like super etchy, like uh, Monster Masume, or is this like no. Kind of normal? No, no I, this, well, this is a lot more tame. Yeah. Oh. So, but at least it comes up with reasons. So, for instance, there we've got like three centaurs, and they're restraining them on the moon. You think, oh, what's going on? It's because they have to actually put who uh, shoes shoes on her, and she's never had it done before, and she just doesn't want it done. So they have to restrain her. There's, uh, there's, I'm waiting for the, the other image to come up, which you probably didn't see earlier, <laughs> DK. And then oh, we, we have, okay. not this one. Uh, oh. There's um, so each one has a different different problem. So we get a, a mermaid character, and they put a little bit of science behind it. So for instance, he has to rescue her because they have she's ill. Right, she's spending a lot of time of water, so she's ill. Uh, no, she's so she's she's using she's breathing oxygen, which means her gills are getting dry often, and she's getting infections because of it. And then she falls into the water and doesn't. If they don't breathe out first, they need to switch over which mechanism they're using to get oxygen. She's not breathing water. She's got uh, air trapped in her lungs. Trapped so lungs. She, has to, she has to save her and force oh. air in her lungs to swap over. It's things like that. So, and like, for instance, here we have a. I can't remember what the problem was with the Cyclops. Was it poor eyesight? Was poor. I think it was with the eyes. Obviously, <laughs> the, the depth eyesight. perception is probably pretty bad some, with just one I, eye. It's Leela. It was something like that. I can't remember what it was, though. Yeah, and then we have the we've had the harpy on earlier who has uh, goes she's she's a young harpy so she goes through molting but she's got part phoenix in her so it's different what's going on. Then we've got the weird giantess lady who who has a cold. Hey, you and can't really worry there are people. Gonna... There are actual people down here. Yes, yeah. Oh, she, she's, okay. she's, for scale. They're worried she's gonna come down and kill them all and crush them. And it's like she, she's like, oh no, there's a doctor. Here. Can I, I've got a cold? Can you can you can we give us some medicine, please? So it's it's really just quite nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep on till we get the one image up again. That, that no sounds pretty, pretty sweet, actually. Like when I saw Monster Girl Doctor, a part of me was like, "Oh, is this gonna be like, um, is a manga called like Monster Girl Encyclopedia that is just smut?" Um, <laughs> oh yes, yes, I know that. Yeah, yes. uh, and I, <laughs> actually, he's a Monster Girl gynecologist, and so it's. Yeah, it sounds it sounds that sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty sweet. Like it sounds adorable. Like just monsters having monster problems, and they happen to yes. be girls. Yeah, I'm waiting for. The, I'm uh, still. I'm gonna keep going then until we get this one image. He's just gonna <laughs> wait for that one image. Yes. We're gonna be so talking about it. Death Note. And... I think I know exactly which one he's talking <laughs> about up. too. Okay. 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 Because he's just so, saying about the monster girl encyclopedia. Like if this will come up, you'd be like. So, Lars, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sure this show is what you're saying? It isn't it? It really is. But yeah. I, 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 moment. I haven't read Monster Girl Encyclopedia. I've literally just seen it under the little, oh, people that bought this also like this. And I was like, hey, what's that? Gong. I kind of thought you were going to say under your bed. 
Well, <laughs> if, if I had it, it would be under the bed, yeah. But, I, I, you know, I remember seeing Monster Girl Doctor, and it, it is really... Um, I'm pretty sure, like, there isn't the, the harem that there was in Monster Musume, where, like, you know, it, I think there's only one or two characters in this that really want to get with the Doctor, whereas everyone else, like, they, they really respect the Doctor, they, like... You know, they want... Am I remembering this right, Loz? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, there yes. you go. There it is. There we go. There it is. <laughs> oh. The last time. Yeah. Well, hello. No, I want to... So I'm going to explain it. No. So no. Only... Yeah, so it was very sweet. There's no... No, no fan service. No, no, no. That's no. the doctor, by the way. Mm -hmm. The doctor, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's, he's not doing anything about it. No, no, no. It's, it's like a fun Saturday night. night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Go on, Loz. Explain it. Yeah. No, well... So... There was two. There's two, as you saw already. There's two horse centaurs who look after this. This the the main rich whatever mm -hmm. centaur. Oh, that. The why does that disappear so quickly? Um, and then <laughs> so one of them gets ill. So it's just down to one aid for the the main thing. But she's really uh, worried because it's she's never been alone before. There's always been the two of them to rely on each other. So she's really panicky all the time. So to calm her down, they use training techniques that they use for young horses, which is where you know you cover the eyes. You know, with horses that, that if they see too much, they get excited. So you, you know, when you've got a horse you know doing things you cover the eyes and restrain them and things and that, so that's yeah. what was going on there right yeah, yeah. right uh -huh. it's for her own good right yeah. <laughs> it's to stop okay. her it's, it's the equivalent of breathing into a bag it's to stop her hyperventilating yeah but for horse central people yeah. why is he yeah. touching this girl on the tail yeah, that he, looks very suspect as well. So that weird blue She's thing. She's got on a her sore bed. back, obviously. She needs a <laughs> massage. <laughs> She's got a tumor. There's a tumor. A tumor. She's a, a tumor. See the tumor on her chest, you know, which he has to examine. <laughs> Yeah. No, it doesn't sound that bad. No, he's just examined her because they have to do they have to do, they have to do surgery and things to remove the tumor because she's a dragon and she yeah. spent too long as a human mm. in human form and so she's got this weird tumor that's growing throughout her chest that they're gonna have to remove, but it's right into her fire glands or something. So it, if they don't if they don't get it, it you know, it, it, as they try and do the surgery, it will expand in heat due to the you know whatever's there's a cut through it, and so they have to be very careful and get special equipment and everything and use it in a special way so that it doesn't explode and kill them all yeah okay all right, that makes sense. pretty normal yeah cool yeah there we so, go so what so makes it but i enjoyed it just the the sort of well occasional the high is it is a harem anime and there is the mainly it's more the, the doctor who is just it's not he's a, he is oblivious i suppose but other people all the characters there's a few characters who do want to get with him but he is just i am just on job the whole time he's just i'm just a nice character doing my job gotta gotta save all the people and then sometimes they'll be like he'll do an important surgery and save them and he'll be like yep that's fine like don't you back her don't you understand it was nice that you saved me you know so he's just like I just need to save all the people yep okay yeah. So it is a harem show at its core so it's kind of like eh. oh, it sounds nice for yeah. the most part yeah cool right and now we're going to move on to Joey's wait Joey? oh, hold Joey's. on yes yeah, so this is Joey's I can't actually see oh god damn it oh is it not in this week either oh no hold on hold on Begins with a D. There you go. Right. So this was Joey's uh, guilty pleasure. <laughs> Coming off really? of was Death it last Note? week where I tore into this? Yeah. D what's guilty pleasure about Death Note? I, oh, what's I can kind of see Death it. Note? I can kind of see it. Honestly, it like I said, uh... if you're what if you're not really watching it and you just kind of you know turn off your brain. It, it feels like it's smart. Also, he specifically pointed out the potato chip eating scene, which mm. is so ridiculously over the top well, that while I, I mean, hated it, I also loved it. I mean, there's a reason for it, yeah, it's right? So ridiculous. Like, like his reaction he, he to knows it. he knows that Elle is watching him, and but he's the, like, "Look, I eat a potato it chip." Just, uh, yeah, it is. But at least there's that sense, you know. There's a reason for it. <laughs> There's a reason for it. It's so fine. I think I think this is a guilty pleasure for Joey because you know how some of your friends would, as that you put scene, it, spit on one. you. They they would spit on you for liking uh, Rent a Girlfriend. Yeah, well, I'm definitely the one spitting on Joey for liking <laughs> Death Note. Really? What's well? I, I don't. What's, you I, hate Death I Note? cannot stand Death Note. It's so it's oh, really bad. Wow. Honestly, it is super contrived. 
right? Well, it's, yeah. I mean, but like, it's anime, anime too. To like, to like, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Right, okay. So there, there's there's the anime levels of contrived, and then there's the I'm taking myself way too seriously levels of anime contrived, right? Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. The fact that you have a, a tennis match, right, <laughs> where he thinks that I think that he thinks that I think that he thinks that I'm Kira if I win this tennis match. No, I'm I get, there was a lot of that going I on. I think the right. whole plan I, of right. losing his memory was even worse than that. I mean, the second you got to that, I'm sorry, just, just <laughs> fucking kill me. I remember I was pretty young when I watched Death Note and I thought it was that the made, shit. See, that might I make thought a it difference. was. That might make a difference. I was like, man, this is the shit. Wait, like, he's, sorry, oh my god. Can, can I ask, how old are you? No, you can't. Cool. <laughs> a lady never tells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very sassy of you. No, I think I think like there's actually a number of years between us. That's that's there probably the are. Yeah. yeah. So you're a weird baby. A but, weird uh, baby. Yeah. So like yeah, I just I just I can't I can't get behind death now. And fuck, Joey's even the same age as me. So I don't even fucking get how he could fucking. Joey, uh, there's nothing wrong with liking Death Note. Death Note. Yes, there cool. is. <laughs> so many things wrong with it. It's so bad. You, you know, slap, slapstick, slap, slappy. Yeah, yeah. His he named his cat Ryuk. See, Ryuk is definitely the best part of that show, though. It's cool. Slap's cool. He named his cat Ryuk. No, no. Okay, cat. right. Okay, okay. So, regardless of the fact that he's traumatized that cat for life, right? <laughs> and to be fair, it's better than the live action. I, I wish I've watch never that. seen. You could watch the live action. Refuse. I haven't seen it. But just, but just because the live action exists doesn't exonerate. The anime. <laughs> I tell you, it makes it a lot better in hindsight because I watched Cowboy Bebop, the anime, and I was like, wow. What a masterpiece! After watching the 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 live action, I was like, unbelievably amazing this anime. Oh wow. my god! Oh, we, this, this deserves to be in the Smithsonian. In the Smith, yeah, it's it's a, just absolute unbeatable work of art. After that fucking shit show of a live action, I'm just envisioning like you know uh, the the anime coming out in 2006. I don't know when the live action of Death Note came out. I'm pretty sure it was like, you know, 2010s at some point. And then like the anime ends up starting to win loads of awards, even <laughs> though it was like, it was, you know, 10 years ago, yeah. just because of the live action. The live action was so bad. You're like, wow, that anime really was amazing. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, you know, there, there you go. De Death Note. Um, I don't know if anyone has anything else they want to say about that. Or we can move on to the next one and the last one, which is Nazareth. Ah, uh, yes, Bab um, I just I just binged it again last night, I literally. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of battle athletes. <laughs> There's probably a good reason for that. Oh. Um, <laughs> starting off the green, oh. she's, she's literally biking down a vertical incline faster than the girl. The other girl is falling. That that is okay. the level of crazy we're dealing with here, but it's it's oh god it's so um you might you might actually recognize the art style. These people have worked on a bunch of other stuff, including several Tenchi series, um, Soul Bianca. Oh jeez, yeah. uh, I can't remember. I actually, I... Do you have a list, eh? kind of. Yeah, uh, did you do that? Best, oh, <laughs> Bubblegum Crisis, El Hazard. Oh wow, oh, my then, goddess. Wow. Yeah, so if you if you recognize them, they it, recognize the art style. That is definitely why. Um, I'm surprised right. Bubblegum Crisis didn't end up on this list somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you say, uh, too old, too old, too old. So the basic premise is that okay, this is the year forty nine ninety nine. Just just for reference, Oof, um, that and... is not the greatest picture of the art style. Though. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> that is a bad picture. All I could find was all wow, I could find nice. was, like low <laughs> quality versions. <laughs> It's okay. I'm um, sure it's a great anime anyway. <laughs> I don't know about that, uh, but it is a guilty pleasure. Uh, okay. So the, the basic premise is that they are competing. Earth is competing. All of all their women uh, athletes are competing, competing to be the best of the best, the cosmic uh, Cosmo beauty. Um, but they're all like superhuman in their abilities. I, I'm not even kidding. Uh, the, the first episode has them like running through a desert, dragging these gigantic stone wheels behind them and it just gets worse from there 
Um, All right. Part of why it's a guilty pleasure is it breaks some of my rules. The the first eleven episodes are first ten episodes are like really kind of boring. It's it's a little bit hard to get through. Ooh, stuff doesn't boy. That's just tough. Stuff doesn't start. It's only twenty six episodes long too. Um, oh. Stuff doesn't really start so getting crazy. Almost until... half of it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it is it is good important character building stuff, but yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> but then they then they get up space, and and that's when it starts to get kind of crazy. Um, okay. And that's when it starts to get crazy. That's when it starts that's to get crazy. When it gets nuts. Yeah. Before that is whatever. But before that it was, it was it was just a little crazy. But now it gets really crazy. Um. And, and it's not until the last like five episodes that you find out what's really going on i'm not gonna give anything away but i will say it involves it involves area 51 and an athletic battle for earth that's all i'm gonna say all right but well, it's, oh my god okay. see after you listen i want to i want to check something you know because i know you made it watch it i was tempted to add an additional one to ask if we could have um Gunbuster on the end of this. <laughs> seeing, as, seeing as without half listening there, and you're saying like it, it only gets weird after they get to space, and in the last yes. few episodes, I was definitely thinking a lot of Gunbuster because it, it does. <laughs> it starts out with an academic setting, and oh, it's just girls competing for just, just girls different doing sports. sports it's, thing. Instead yeah. of like instead of like your normal shonen anime where they're training to to fight and they have. Um, uh, uh, martial arts competitions. They're training to uh, to run and and jump and do other things, and it's track and field competitions. But it's it's almost exactly the same. In like the power of friendship will help them overcome and and all this crazy stuff. Right, but my my curious thing is the the Area Fifty One actual reasoning. Does it escalate as quickly as Gunbuster does? At the end, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, what, yeah. We've got, okay, okay. Maybe not to the same Fair extent. Enough. I mean, we don't blow up any any galaxies or anything. We don't blow up the galaxy or anything. Okay, but it we don't, is we that don't level of suddenly down to one thirty thousand yeah. or something and chuck it at the middle of the. Okay, you've, fine. you've been watching this sports anime the whole time, and the only really weird things is that one uh, one of the trainers is basically a zombie, and the headmaster is like three thousand years old, and and can stop space crashing. Oops, uh, crashing spaceships with his bare hands. So that's wow. but, but but then you get to the end. And it all just goes <laughs> off the rails. Right. But it's, okay. oh my god, it's so, like, it's just, it's so cute and silly, and I could just, having watched it again just recently, I could definitely watch it another time if I want. It's, it's something I could just pop on for silly, silly factor. Cool. Not sure I could recommend it to others, though. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so how many episodes are we talking here? 36. And well, you can watch okay, it. You can you can watch it at like one one and a half speed. It's it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, apparently there was a remake relatively recently done by yeah. a studio that's mostly known for doing hentai projects. So that's got to be good. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work out really well. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, there's, there is yeah. a lot of fan yeah. service too. Um, not oh, not any oh, nudity, I, not any nudity or anything, but. They almost never take off their their sports girl uniforms or anything. So, what? Even while the shower? I, we never see them shower. I don't think <laughs> they shower with it on. You gotta you gotta clean the fabric too. It's the future. Yeah. It probably yeah. auto dries and everything. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, on on that lovely bombshell, let's move on to the rest of the show. We've we've gone through our list. Um. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the supporter questions. Oh boy! Nazareth oh, has yeah. ruined it. Stop oh. ruining it, Nazareth. I'm I'm so hit, sorry. Hit the is, is there anything you're surprised didn't show up on a list? On um, Rusty Doji and the Blue Girl. Oh my god, dude! Freaking! <laughs> I was gonna make a joke. I tried to make a joke where I was like, ah, in my first from for my first one, it's Rusty Doji. Now I couldn't get any images of this <laughs> for obvious <Yeah>. reasons. <laughs> Right, okay, so let's go to the supporter question. So, Zrugal asks, actually, before that, I want to turn to you guys and ask if um, you think I should uh, say anything about how to join the lovely supporters program. Of course yeah. you should. Yeah. Okay, well, go to patreon.com slash xenogallion and you could be one of my supporters or go to, what's yours, Nazareth? That's just patreon.com slash Nazareth. There you go, and you can be one of Nazareth's supporters, and you know, 
join either one and you'll get early access to camp by cast before it is due to go live you know you don't have to be joined on both just one of them it's fine yep right uh then but if you're cool you're on both <laughs> but if you're cool you're on both. yeah uh and then zrugal's second um thing he uh, uh, says is now i'll just read out zrugal's question if anime animals could talk which would be the rudest if animals could talk uh, cats? Apparently. Rudest? Do we think um, cats would be the rudest? They're pretty, yeah. Uh, either that or like um, seagulls. A, a mine, 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 mine. A wolverine, well, maybe. I, I know. I was just thinking of like, you know, seagulls just dive bombing you and stealing your food and just like, mm. as they fly gonna, away, go, fuck you, asshole. I was going to say birds in general, as they just like mm. fly over and shit on your face. And just imagine a bird okay. going, bitch, and then it just shits on you. <laughs> okay, DK, how many times have birds shot on your face? <laughs> uh, never, actually. Okay, okay, I mean, cars, okay. everybody's had bird shit on their car, but yeah, yeah. on me. I can imagine crows can, can yeah. like, um, remember the faces of people that have, that, that have pissed them off, and Oof. they will get revenge. So, do you live near a bunch of crows, and what did you do to them? I, I actually outside my house there's a I think there's like a lime tree that a bunch of like crows and ravens like to pick fruit off of. Oh wow. And we never we never stop them so they keep coming well, back. They should love so. you then. Hmm. Yeah, they should love me. They should be my, my pals. They should uh, be protecting what is you it, from a, the other birds. A murder of crows and a conspiracy of ravens or is it the other way around? Um murder of crows and an unkindness of ravens, I think. Oh, I thought it was a conspiracy. Oh, it whatever. might be. It's just a cool name for a flock of birds though. Cool. Moving on. Thalian, right. Last time on Reading Rainbow, we had a look at what the fuck anime and highlight, sorry, and the highlight and a highlight was Fooly Cooly. If huh. Haru, if Haru Hara, Haruko was to smack you in the head with her bass, what kind of guitar would the Kampai cast members manifest uh, when she went digging around in your heads. Nobody can choose the Rick Backer Rickenbacker 4100 S bass guitar. That's mine. That's what he said. Uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do know much guitar. about guitars. Um, I would a hope a, one. I would hope a really rad like uh, what are those like those gent guitars that have like 60 million strings on them? And they're like two feet where they're like eight feet wide or something. Oh my god. <laughs> a gent guitar. That's what I'd want it to be. Yeah. 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 Loz? I want a keyboard guitar. Damn it. Keyboard guitar. Nice, nice a guitar. guitar. <laughs> Good <laughs> shit. Oh, <Jeez>. let's go. <laughs> guitar, it. let's go. Fine. Uh, Good I guess, choice. I guess one of those double necked guitars that you have to like be cool. really handsy to play. Right. Also, cool. also, <laughs> good choice. also good choice. Right. Uh, this week of a uh, top. Sorry, this week's topic is guilty pleasures. So on the topic, it, sorry, on that topic, it's time. Sorry, it's really weird to read stuff when you got a light right in your face. Right. <laughs> I've I've never done this before. I've got a, a light just right there. Is right. In, anyway. But your monitor's a light all the time. Quiet you. This week's topic is Guilty Pleasures. So on that topic, it's time for one of the anime fandom's greatest guilty pleasures. Self-insert shipping. Oh, no. Oh. What? Self-insert shipping? Yeah, well, well, this one is for each of our hosts and our special guest. Each of you have a chance for one uh, one night stand with one anime character of your choice. And then after you have um, after you have that chance for a last sorry wait and after then sorry and then after that you have a lasting chance you have a chance at a lasting relationship um, with one other anime character of your choice. Which characters would you choose and why? This is so cringe. Yeah, like, this is I so know. much effort. Why didn't they just go like you know? Love, marry, kill, or something. It's basically <laughs> what they're saying. Like, ah, this character you have a one night stand with, and then another character you can have an okay. interesting relationship with. It's like, so much effort. Okay. Fuck. I don't want, okay. I don't, I don't, 
I've got uh, mine. Go on then. Ava Unit Zero One and Ava Unit Zero Two. I mean, I was gonna pick on one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> be an interesting dinner. <laughs> dinner that that's dinner with mom. Oh my god. Uh, I mean when you say I want to be inside you, you can literally just pop it, you know the entire capsule inside. It plugs you, yeah. 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 Ooh. Okay, I I'm going to say Ryoko for the first one and Rias Gremory for the second one. Simply because I just don't think Ryoko would be a good long-term relationship. There you go. Job done. I hate myself for answering this question. <laughs> so wait, so we have to pick two of them? Yeah, yeah one, so to love, one... one to have a nightstand, one nightstand with, and one to like marry or love forever. Have a yeah. like, ever relationship. Mm, forever relationship is definitely Sailor Mercury. Amy Mizuno. <laughs> that's 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 not even a question. Uh one night stand? Oh, Shion. From that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Easy. What was it? Wouldn't, wouldn't mind having a long lasting with Shion too, though. That's what I was going to say. I mean, which of these characters are you, are you contemplating devoting the entire shelf towards? I mean, true. But, like, long lasting waifu, like, as like your actual partner, like, does it get much better than Sailor Mercury? Like, she's smart, she cooks. She'd, she'd probably fuck anybody up to try to step to you. What about the mom yeah. from uh, Jobless Reincarnation? Jobless Reincarnation? I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, oh you do. You need to. Seriously. Oh. It's, if you if you like Isekai, like, this this if you, is... If you like non-normal isekai. isekai. Okay. I'll have to Especially today's out. episode. <laughs> Shion definitely, though, definitely won at least a one-night stand with Shion. At least. Okay. <laughs> Lars, yeah, I'm. I'm actually gonna pick. I was gonna pick Gundams, but instead, I'm gonna change that because if DK hasn't seen season two, he's not aware of what cooking ability Shion gets. Oh, I'm later. fully aware that she has. She that's no played in the first season, isn't it? No, 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 no. She gets. Oh, does she get good? No. no. Yes. Oh. No. Oh. Yes. But yes. But oh. yes. I, I'll do all the cooking. It's fine. Do you want the spoiler? I, I, do you want, do you want the spoiler yeah, sure. Spoiler. I don't really plan on. Uh, <laughs> she gets the we... ability that her cooking tastes how she wants it to taste, but it still looks how she makes it. Yeah. So it's oh. the most amazing food you've ever tasted, oh. Oh. but it looks like. A, a I'd be okay fire. with that. I'd yeah, be right exactly. That. I'd, I'd, that's, yeah. That's, that's that's cool. Close your yeah. eyes. The sure. secret is LSD. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> out of interest. <laughs> out of interest. Um. Does does eating the food have any repercussions? No. Or it okay okay fine. No, it'll taste how she it tastes how she wants it to taste. So she thinks yeah. she's making the best meal ever. She will make the best tasting meal ever. But it, it looks like she, and she literally can make it out of almost anything at that point because she can just yeah because right. she literally does make food out of anything. Like she just that's a some, that's a great like, ability. To have. Yeah. yeah. So you right. just get some grass and some dead animal and you're like wow this is amazing you know so so that's that's your forever relationship yeah I mean your, you, because I can just close my eyes and it's like yep just great food that's, every that's, day that's a good choice I mean Shion is uh, is she's she's well endowed as well so <laughs> uh, I have no idea for the other one I'm gonna go with Gumbuster Girl just because she's on the screen to my right at the moment. <laughs> Fair. Because who good doesn't choice. like people who buy absolutely freaking absolutely dest galaxy destroying size mechs? Now, how right. many of you picked? I can't remember names. Oh damn it! Hang on. Wait, Sorry. what? Now, how many of you picked? Because <laughs> how many is twenty thousand years old? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No. no um, Ryoko is five thousand years old. We don't know how old Rias Grammar is. So yeah, shove it. <laughs> uh, uh, what? what? I think I think because of space time, mine would be forty six thousand years old <laughs> because of time dilation effects. So yeah. depends what Sailor Mercury you're going for. She's in college now. Mm. There you go. There we go. Problem and solved. Shion is an orc. Yeah. So yeah. Doesn't count. Mm. Right. So let's ogre? move on. I thought shouldn't she an ogre? Oh, ogre. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, okay, so we got a few comments from uh, last week. Fabian, uh, from last week, you were talking about what-the-fuck moments, 
and with Fudi Kuli you are struggling with the setting. Fudi Kuli is about puberty, growing up and finding out uh, about dating, most importantly about finding your little confidence uh, in your own identity. The world itself is secondary. And robots with television heads. So the reason for this is Loz was having issues last week with the fact that there was a giant island and no one seemed to give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. If there, if there was a giant iron outside my city... <laughs> but, but see, kids are always I like, be going to work. Pay I'd be like, I do. <laughs> sure, I'd you like, do. Hey, if there was a giant iron somewhere in the world, I'd be like, Frick, we've got to go find this giant iron today. Not, oh, well, I have to go down to meet my friend at the bridge and then sort of lie on the, the riverside and we'll sort of have some angst. Like, freaking, there's a giant iron that's going to crush <laughs> us all? And we're not yep. going to deal with that. <laughs> nope. There's nothing you right. can anime, do. Anime. Which part of... Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do about it? There's what are you going to do, do about a giant about iron? iron? Adults don't care. I can take it to pieces. I can do something. It's giant freaking iron. I need to understand it. Yeah, but there's nothing right. you can do. You just have to deal with it. Just, on, yeah. There's no way we can get it on screen, can we? The bloody giant iron. It's like the uh, pressure of puberty. Yeah, I was about to say, which part of growing up in puberty that we've all gone through here? I hope we've all gone through it here. Because it's, it's, the, the, it's, the the it's the looming unknown. Right? Yeah, we're all setting secondary yeah. laws. You're going to become an adult, you're going to become a, a, corp or a drone to the system, and they're going to smooth yeah. your brain out. Yeah, there you go. Right, moving on to the next one. Yep, Arteria yep. Faith says, Nazareth, Shin Chan was an awesome kids show, but it was a bit on the risky side for a kids show. Ooh, yeah, that's that's. Uh, <laughs> is is Shin Chan show, considered sure. a kids show? Like, I honestly no, have no. I, I know, show. I know it was aired like during daytime television. You know, so kids could easily watch it in the UK. Um, but yeah, they probably didn't realize what they had on their hands either. Well, it's, it's still airing, isn't it? Like new episodes of it are still airing. I Maybe. didn't know that. I didn't know it was still yeah, it's like one of the longest running anime ever. One of. I don't think it's the longest running, but it's, no, cause like, it's it like still going. Yeah, like Come Doraemon on. is like the most uh, longest running or whatever. But yeah. Everybody thinks it's One Piece and it's not. Uh, and then... I, I yeah, guess Pokemon. One Piece... No, 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 nowhere near. One Piece has oh. just hit a thousand episodes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Detective Conan has uh, been going on for a while. Or case yeah. closed. Yeah, Detective Conan is, I think, over 1,100 episodes or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then Zrugal uh, asks, Lol, I'd like to know if Loz finished Gundam Reconquista in G. I haven't, I didn't even get far. I started another one. Were you watching it again? I got one episode in it. <laughs> yeah. I love oh, the um, mech designs in it, though. The okay, mechs yeah, look yeah. really, really cool. I just, I watched like three episodes and I, I just keep falling asleep. Smart yeah. man. Smart, smart man. I watched the I whole thing. I it. can't remember it. It's awful. It's, I just keep on telling Loz never to watch it because it's just awful. Oh. Yeah, but the mech design is so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. G Self yeah. is just... amazing. I love yes! G Self. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. But like the series, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's that's it for the uh, the comments, and now we're going to go on to the fun part, which is the memes. The so, memes. The memes. Uh, it should kick in. Uh, is it going to kick in? Is it because I'm... Did you break it? Probably. Just, just you know, you keep ruining things. As I know, I know. Uh, drink it. Drink it. Yes, drink it. Drink it. That one. Is and there an then... anime you're glad didn't make the list? Um, Genshin Impact. Why... Why is ah, this so? It's it's Gunshin. In, it's, it's Gunshin. In <laughs> it's if America. Oh, what if, oh, what if they put? Genshin. Yeah, what if they put guns in Genshin? I if America it. made it, it would all be filled with guns. <laughs> right, it would Genshin still America. suck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, Your second one. Uh, what do they put for the subtitles for Boomhauer's lines in the Japanese version of King of the Hill? Huh? Sorry, that was a strange thing to ask. That's a um, that's a common meme template. Yeah, uh, I, I've I've okay. not seen this far into Attack on Titan. Apparently, me either. Yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, because yeah, th th this reaction is from the show. I don't know what the original question is, but they they always. I'm pretty. Add in. I'm pretty. 
yeah, I'm pretty sure the the last two panels are verbatim, but it's the yeah. first panel is just like yeah. he just asks such a random question. It's like what? Uh, yeah, right. yeah. Okay. And okay. finally, then... learning any other kind of spell. I'll ignore that. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yeah. That's actually photoshopped yeah. on in a very hilarious. I I like that. Uh, yeah. I like the bottom image. It's yeah. pretty great. Yeah. yeah, that's really good. Okay. Okay. So my first one. Uh, November 30th. Ah, you finally made it through No Nut November, eh? Uh, I'll never <laughs> for you. Uh, again, for ever, you. as long as I live. December 1st. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that... F JoJo's was out. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, Whoa. On oh, all God. fours, okay. JoJo fans, guess I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> there's nothing the wrong if you know. were. <laughs> well, because they're in prison, right? That's where Stone Ocean starts, is they're in prison. Oh, yes. right, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so she's getting strip search. Uh, yeah. uh, and basically, uh, the, 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 the woman with the weird pointy hair, the, the blonde hair, like uh, she's she's trying to get them to feel like uncomfortable and like really ridicule them and expose themselves and and basically Jolene is just like sure whatever don't care let's get it this I over see. with yeah yeah and then but the big thing is that the JoJo fans are considered like you know gay because they love the JoJo oh, characters the men, I see yeah. oh, exactly okay. exactly okay. so the idea is that in this is like guess I'm not gay anymore right I okay. see. And then the third community shout out meme. is Juju. Sorry, damn it, meme. Uh, <laughs> Juju Sakai-san, uh, Demon Slayer, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and then you got the last one, which is uh, Kobayashi's <laughs> Dragon Maid. Oh, judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty great. Pretty great. Oh, that's good. That's excellent. Cool. All right. So that's it for. <laughs> that's it for the community shout out. The memes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, the memes. The memes. No, the shout outs? <laughs> no, shut up. Quiet you. Oh, right. are you doing shout outs? No, no shout outs. No. <laughs> shout -outs. I've, been, I've, been, I've been doing shout outs for so damn long on 10 o'clock. Like, it's it's just default for my brain, right? I've, I've just, you know, we've done 17 episodes of this right now, and I still fail to actually say memes. Memes. So we don't have an announcement so far of what we're going to be talking about next week. We haven't decided yet, so we'll work that one out as we come along. DK, it's been absolutely lovely having you on. It's you been know, lovely being here, talking about all this uh, shady anime. Shit anime. Yep, yep. yep. And uh, shady, yeah, shady so service anime. Yep. So everyone. Make sure you go check out DK's stuff. There'll be links in the descriptions below, along with all the... As of, have you broken it? I feel like you've broken it. Has the VPN no. broken? No. Maybe. Hit the name place. Hit the name place. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, you will. <laughs> right. So there you go. And yeah, I am sure Hydroxate. Debug queen. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, oh, my name plate's back up. Where's my name plate? Come on. Let's have it back up. Yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. oh, there we go. There he goes. Well done. I completely forgot Damn, that laws was changed. You have changed so much over the years. I don't even it's recognize pandemic, you anymore. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So many years, yeah. Uh, Yowzers. Yeah. It's always something. That, that, that's bit, we didn't even catch that at the beginning of the episode. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Ugh, the comments uh, are going to just be roasting us. Uh, who reads comments anyway? Yeah, that's a good question. Right, yeah. so that's it for this episode. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening, and we'll see you all later. Bye bye. Oh wait, we've got to do the campfire thing, haven't we? Yeah. Yes. What? There's an outro campfire thing. Gotta, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got to share uh, the beginning uh, and the end. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. This right. is empty, okay. but. <laughs> well, this so is my glass. So, right. Okay. Three, two, one. Campfire.